often for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. It's Flixtravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flixtravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello there, 
Hi, good morning. Welcome to a brand new day here at a Up. Boy, have we got a weekend planned for you. So I know it's cold and frosty and horrible out there, but don't worry, it's very cosy here in the studio. Well, kind of. Our personalities and our encouragement and our enthusiasm, certainly. And talking about encouragement and enthusiasm, I am not here by myself. I've got lovely Lou Collins with me. Good morning, how are you doing? Good morning. Doing? I'm very well, thank you. You? Yes, very much. Now, I'm really looking forward to this app because I must admit, I do love things that kind of come as a little box and a little bit yeah. of an element of surprise to them. Things like yes. subscription boxes and things like that, very much the thing at the moment. Yep. Um, and the, the key thing is because within the box, you've got a lot of content and quite often you've got a good deal. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. Now, talk us around these fabulous boxes. We're talking about Papercraft Society. Now, I've not seen these before, so give us a little bit of editorial about what these are all about. Okay, so i um, really happy to have these on, actually, because the Papercraft Society boxes are a monthly subscription. Okay. So uh, we're actually giving you the chance to pick some up individually rather than having to subscribe, ah, okay. um, which is a bonus. Each box actually contains at least £60 worth of product. So there's there's a lot in there. We're looking at things like stamps, dyes, papers, um, embellishments. But not only all of this, uh, these um, products that you're getting, you're going to get a project booklet inside each one. I think there's around about 15 projects, step-by-step wow. -step and photo projects in there too to give you lots of inspiration for when you get your box I home. love it. And you just touched on there. £60 worth of products mm -hmm. you're talking about. £24.99 we've got these on sale for. Now you can see the first box that we're looking at here with lovely Lou there, very proudly holding her box in place as you consider. You have got loads and loads within here. I've got some finished samples of some of the different kinds of cards that you might be making but of course as is always the case with inspiration it's a starting point. You can follow it step by step if you're wanting to um, or of course you can just take encouragement and guidance and kind of do it your own way but these boxes are cram packed full of incredible tuition quality products as well that's the thing that strikes me with this and it's it's kind of a case of it's not just like a little sachet of something I mean oh, I, no. I, you know I knock everything over so I'm gonna point I'm not gonna actually touch but here you kind of got full-size products within here oh absolutely so uh, things like your stamps and the dies they are on a5 sheets they're okay. cute. They're, they're bigger than some some that you buy individually anyway. Um, so the watercolour there, that is a full jar of water. I can't even. I've had this box for months and I can't even use that up. Wow. So there's a lot there. The sequin, a full bag of sequins, things like this. And yeah, not tiny. just a snippet. Absolutely. Now you've got a box in front of you. So this is what it's all about. The box yes, arrives. Absolutely. You're almost watching for the postman to walk up the path with it, really, aren't you? So the box arrives, which is a beautiful box anyway. It's a gorgeous box, and I must say, I've actually used two of these boxes, and I'll need to do a tutorial actually, and made them um, suitable to house my distress inks in. Clever. So later on, um, once you've emptied the box and used everything and put it away. So they are sturdy boxes. You've got the Velcro closure, which I love anyway. Um, each one, they have quotes printed on the inside oh, and things like that lovely. just for a bit of fun. So you've got there. I love that I can combine my two favourite hobbies, hand lettering and paper crafting, to make beautiful personalised projects. Oh, um, that's cute. Inside, we have the wallet. Now, each one has this. And that will have on the side which box it is, because like I say, these are a monthly um, subscription but if you're buying them individually, you'll know which ones you're getting, which ones you still don't have, so you can put these in order. And I love because you've got a lot of the content in here. You can stand this on the bookshelf yes. and use it, but inside here, another Velcro opening, we've got, look at all of this. Okay, there's more in here as well. There's more under here, so it's, this isn't everything you're getting. Now, this is mine and this is used, okay? okay. So, obviously, there's more papers in there <laughs> than you see. But we've got a full sheet of dies. We've got a full sheet of stamps that coordinate with the dies as well. Let me wow. just pop, see if I can pop this around so that's white for you. So, um, what I wanted to do with this one, because this is the one that's designed by myself. She's done it. <laughs> <laughs> we could not hide that. You. I did work. That's a record. We were four minutes in. I think that's the longest I've gone. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. Back to you. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, so, with this, what I wanted to do was incorporate um, a winter theme because this came out, I believe it was around about November time, but also bring it into spring and summer as well so you don't have to go with the winter. So we've got For You, Sparkle, we've got florals, we've got foliage, we've got things like wood grain as well, but also the dyes will overlay some of the stamps. So we've got tags in there, and we've got some beautiful little apertures and corners that you can be creating with the dyes. But essentially, what's going to happen, if I just have a look at the wreath that stamps there, that die will fit beautifully over the wreath and cut that out for you once you've stamped and coloured it in. 
So there's just a small element of them. In the papers, there's, um, I think there's four different designs of pattern paper, but two of each. So I'll just try and show you some of these designs with all the little pieces falling out from where I've used them. That's another bit to show you in a moment. So we've got, there's, there we go, the four different designs there. Now I've four. actually got a full Wait, set here. Shall oh, I show everybody the fantastic. full set and then we'll come back to you, Luke? Yeah, perfect. There's loads of them here. You, you might have heard me trying to get hold of them. <laughs> um, but this is brilliant because you've got large A5 sheets. You've got everything from your gorgeous glitter card there. Your fabulous kind of card bases that you can be using, all the different projects that are featuring in there. Obviously fully coordinated plain card stock in this particular one. Then there's gorgeous pattern papers that you were talking about. And then, of course, you've got so much content and the die cut elements as well. These are brilliantly um, kind of die cut, so they are ready for you to use straight away. Is this watercolour cardstock that we've yes. got in here as so, well? Wow. Uh, two sheets of watercolour cardstock. There's two sheets of everything in there, um, except for the die cut pieces, but they I hand painted those, so you won't find oh, those wow. designs anywhere else. They are beautiful. Um, and they're foiled as well, as you can see. Aren't they gorgeous? And then, of course, those gorgeous papers all coordinate perfectly. So you're going to get a full set of those. So what else do we get in there? So underneath the wallet, we've then got the tissue paper, and for some people, this is the their favourite part is opening the tissue paper because it will come sealed with your Paper Craft Society sticker over the top. I've obviously opened mine already um, a long time ago, but if I just, this isn't included, that's mine. But inside here we have the sequins, I'll say the gold sequins. Ooh. Now the gold perfectly matches that gold glitter card that you were just showing that Silence. I actually used. Look at so those it's that spark yellow. They're sparkling even within that cellophane packaging. I know, they're beautiful and there's a lot in there. I didn't count them, I have to admit, <laughs> I can't tell you exactly how many. My favourite part of this entire Paper Craft Society box is the watercolour ink as well. Now this is a blue, um, it's a beautiful blue. I will be using it later on. It's used on quite a few of the cards actually, the examples that we've got here a really big pot and I love this because the best thing is it dilutes and it works really well with the brush that's included there's tutorials in the project booklet which I think finds under there yeah I'll show you in a second mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't stain anything okay some Fabulous. watercolors once they sit in a palette or if you accidentally get it on your mat it stains this yeah. doesn't it washes off beautifully uh, it's really vivid as well. We've then got an ink pad as well, a nice light grey. And the reason I gave you that colour is so you can create your own wood grain papers and things. And again, Ooh. there's tutorials in the booklet for that. Okay. A full reel of twine, metres and metres of it there, the natural twine. They're those um, plain card stocks and the watercolour card that you were just seeing there with Hayley. And then we've also got a lettering pen. I mean, this just keeps oh going on. Oh, my goodness. It's a small tip of brush pen. So perfect for if you're starting to begin, begin with lettering or want to just have a go but don't know what pieces to get. That matches with the stamps. You notice there's this word sparkle, the word for you in the stamps. You can stamp them in the pale grey, go over them with your black pen to start practising how to do brush lettering. Again, there are elements in here to teach you. And inside the booklet, there are projects, loads of projects. There's home decor. There's uh, So Sam Calcott has done some beautiful cards here. We've got some of them here, actually. Gorgeous. Step by step on how to start brush lettering with the brush and the watercolour there to create a home decor panel as well. Um, tags in there because there's some tag dyes. Lots and lots of different ideas for you. There's a little interview with me. You don't need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, step-by-step photos on different ways of using your watercolour inks as well, of course, because it may be something that you've not ventured into before. There's a lot in these project booklets as well. And then lastly, there's always a postcard in every box. And that's sort of tips or tricks or some people have done a colour wheel and things like that. So that's definitely worth having in your um, craft room just to refer back to and this one's talking about how about different techniques with watercolouring when you've got an ink to watercolour. Isn't this fabulous? Absolutely amazing. Now whether you're treating yourself to one of these boxes but to me I'm looking at them I'm thinking what a fabulous gift to give to somebody maybe who's just getting started maybe they've just had a die cutting machine um, it's a lovely set of dies for the price that you're looking at there stamps and dies together for that price let alone everything else that's included absolutely incredible. You can see how this one is using those wonderful background papers that we've looked at, the fabulous die cut elements there. Um, obviously you've got your brush let let uh, lettering, which this, on this occasion has come from the die cut element because you're going to be able to learn how to do that and add your own sentiments. The twine being used in 
there. It all comes together absolutely beautifully. And of course, you've got way more than you are going to need for the projects that are detailed within there. So of course, you'll have lots left over. Um, now, you've got a minimum of £60 worth of products in here. And of course, lots that's going to be left over for you to use, especially the dyes and the stamps. After you've exhausted your ink and your string and your, your, kind of your ink pad, you will still have those dyes and stamps. So it is a brilliant value bundle. Beauty is, of course, flex extravaganza means that you can get hold of this and spread the cost over two payments. So if you are a Freedom member, for just £12.50, you will get all of this, over £60 worth of product, delivered to you in a fabulous box, ready for you to start crafting. What an amazing idea. Um, 651834. Now, of course, there's a huge team behind Papercraft Society. And we've got another star box for you. And this time, this is Linda's box. I'm going to delve into Linda's box. And here, instantly, you will see a different kind of style to this one. I love the kind of little ditzy flower print that we've got with the wallet on this one, Lou. Yes, Again, beautiful. brilliant value from it. Again, £60 worth of products, I'm yes, guessing. Yes, absolutely, getting all of that. So uh, there is a different designer every month. And the designer completely chooses every Everything. So the colourways, the styles of the stamps. Um, Linda has got um, an A A5 stencil in there with different borders and things, even a picket fence. She's got dies that work to create your window boxes, or for me, I like to create cards that are three-dimensional and flattened down. So you've got the dies to allow you to do that. Um, there's three ink pads in Linda's, along with coordinating cardstock in there, and of course pattern papers as well. Um, there's some little beautiful um, adhesive. Gem, I was going to say gems, it's not, it's pearls, sorry, in there um, that colour coordinate. There's die cut pieces. It's all themed around gardening and spring, and um, it's perfect time of year for this one Isn't coming it out, just? actually. Yeah. yeah, and I love the flowers, are just absolutely beautiful. The different flowers and foliage that she's got, you can build up your own bouquets with. Love it. And I love the way you can connect with the designer. I mean, instantly, I love the kind of the little sentiment. I think this is something that you'll be looking out for. If you, obviously, as time goes on, you might want to subscribe to these, but you can see Craft Up a Storm, the mess can wait. And I <laughs> love that. And the card as well, the little postcard, things like this. This is that personalization that's connecting you with the designer here. And I love the sentiment behind this one. Everyone has the potential to make beautiful things. Linda, I couldn't agree more. And especially when you've got a kit like the one that we're looking at here. Love the style with this one. Of course, you can do your kind of clean, crisp cards if you're wanting to, minimal detail. Or you can really go in and create some absolutely incredibly stylish cards. Of course, very much along that kind of zesty springtime mm. colours, which I think we need, don't we, really, at the moment? Yeah, beautiful pastels, as you can see, very, very different to the last box we were looking at. So you are going to get a complete variation in styles with the backing papers, um, the stamps, obviously, you can stamp them in any colour you wish, but with the colour options you've got, you know everything in the box is going to work together. So yeah. these are going to be a perfect gift for somebody who's just starting out with paper crafting. Really good idea. Um, yeah. If you know someone who's maybe got to stay at home mm -hmm. for a little while now, this is going to be a great way to get them into paper crafting or top up their stash. Otherwise. I love it. Shall we delve into the box? Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Again, this has been used just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit by me to prepare my demos for today. So anything that you don't see right now, you'll see later on. On in demonstrations so starting with the wallet again we've got the text on the side so you can line them up on your bookshelf as you get more and more of them and you'll know where to find everything so we have here beautiful stamps again I'm just going to turn this around so you can see Ooh. some of those stamps there they are stunning you've got florals you've got happy birthday and then you've got Easter retirement get well soon um, I love that you could write happy everything yes. yeah just a, sort of just a note there um, special day with love and anniversary just for you and then you've got on your and wishes thank you as well everything I think we're covering just about every <laughs> occasion there lots of different shape and size florals different designs as well so you can mix and match them and build up your own bouquets and then we've got butterflies and bumblebees which I really love I love this bumblebee and mostly because you stamp that in black onto yellow cardstock and then if I move on to the dies we've got the die that will cut that bumblebee out for you Ooh. because I always find bumblebees are one of the hardest things to colour in because you've got to go red black uh, red black yellow <laughs> yellow black I do know my colours yellow black yellow black <laughs> Um, but you've got the little die there that will cut out that stamped image and you've instantly got beautiful bumblebees. But along with that, we've got butterflies in here. We've got gorgeous scalloped edges with a pin dot detail. I'm going to show you how to use that in one of my demonstrations. Um, we've got this die here. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Can... This, is, this looks like a construction it style It is. Die. So we're looking a little bit like kinetic cards. So this will actually cut out for you 
either. Um, actually, in fact, there is a card that has a really good example of it there, a house-shaped card. Oh, okay, with it right. around. That might be easier to explain it by showing that. Yeah, so no you problem. can create like a window box or a fence or something that goes around that will fold flat for you. Ah. Um, so those sort of cards or pop-up boxes, some people know them as. So is it kind well. of creating this panel that we're seeing going around the house? Yeah, so you've got two there ah. stuck one, one against the other, but you, this cuts one panel. But with this, you can also create like a little box with an open top if you yes. want to. So you can create an actual box if you want to have a three-dimensional card with things popped in it. You can do that as well. So lots of different ways of using that. And again, we do have a project booklet, which we'll come to in a moment, that will show you how to use that as much as possible, different ways. And then we have the stencil. There's no easy way to show you a stencil, Ooh. but we've got four different designs here. Stripes, confetti. We've got almost like an animal print, but it's, it's floral. But I think you could work that with the right colours to look like an animal print. And then See, we've I was got the dots. I thinking crazy paving. Yeah, so it, <laughs> it really depends on the colours you use. Yeah, Obviously, point. if you use pinks and greens in there, you're going to bring out the, the flowers and the leaves. But um, there's lots of different ways people see things differently. And then we've got the picket fence along here as well. A nice long one for your longer cards. We've got, Now this, you can see, I love these <laughs> because they're used. <laughs> I Worthy. know you've probably got... they were. Because they, <laughs> there's a lot of gaps there. You might look mm. at this and think, oh, it's another stencil. It isn't. <laughs> no, it's you've actually die-cut. die-cut elements. <laughs> yeah, die-cut pieces in there. Um, I, I believe... That there's none there's none left over for me to show you. You should have a full sheet there. I have. <laughs> Very tentatively picking it up there. Um, and here you can. I love this. You've got your welly boots. Love this idea at both directions um, because, of course, you can use them as a pair or two pairs together if you wanted to. Little plant pots there you can see. Um, maybe you've got somebody like our Janice. This would be perfect for our Janice because, of course, she likes her outdoors and her allotment. Um, and it's just a really nice little selection of die cut elements. I'm sure you'll agree with that one. But just doesn't stop with the die cut um, elements because of course there's lots more in that box. There is. So there's two two uh, pages of each of these designs here, um, but you've got some beautiful floral um, gingham, some dotty papers in here as well, all that coordinate with everything that we've seen so beautiful. far. And then let's close our wallet up. Again, this is one of the um, Velcro sealed wallets, so you've got the quality there. It feels Love heavy the when fact you get it. You can it. put the papers back in the wallet, so you yeah. can kind of come back to them. You're not going to lose them with your staff. Keep everything together. And the wallet, there is space to add some more elements. So if you want to add these these uh, playing card stocks in there as well, and your gems and your postcards, you can. So we've got the three inks there, the yellow, the red, and the green. Of course, they work really well with everything that we've got already. Um, these inks, they stamp absolutely beautifully. I've been using these for a long time. Um, but we do not duplicate on the colours through Papercraft Society. So if you've already got a couple of boxes from previous or um, you're thinking about getting more in the future, don't worry, you're not going to duplicate on the colours. We never repeat a colour in the box. Um, so we've got glitter card in here in a pink and a white. I don't know how well you can see those actually, but these are no shed glitter cards. Oh, yes, they you can are see this Oh, there, yes. They are gorgeous. Definitely gorgeous. Stunning. So that is a card stock there, perfect for your matting and layering. And then we've got our coordinating card stocks. So we've got the pale green, we've got the pastel yellow, and the pink as well. Gorgeous. We've got, as you said, your card, uh, your little postcards there. Um, she's given us top tips for die cutting, which oh. again, you're perfect if you are a beginner. And these tips will come in really handy to keep near your die cutting machine. We've got the gems there as well. Um, I keep saying gems, they're pearls, a little <laughs> adhesive pearls. Again, and those colours that work really well together. And then lastly, the project booklet. And this has just got so many. There's that card we're just oh, showing you, actually. Fabulous. So you've got all the steps on how to create that. We've got another shed card there. Perfect for your gardeners, isn't it? I think love there it. aren't many people who don't love a card with butterflies and flowers on, or if it's a gentleman, a garden shed with his tools. We've got a little interview with Linda in there as well. Um, lots and lots of inspiration. It just keeps going. I don't want to show too much because some people do like a surprise it's the when they get in there. surprise, isn't it, when you receive them? So this is the key thing. I mean, you can see there, you are getting so much within uh, that box for your money. As you were, we mentioned before, over £60 worth of products. Lots of those are full size 
prize products like those little kind of inch square ink pads that you are going to be able to use over and over again. So if you want that lovely kind of spring tone, then uh, this is the one for you. It's proven to be a very, very popular option with regards to our boxes, but we have got another box to share with you as well. So if you fancy getting hold of this one, just £24.99. As we say, Flex Ravaganza, if you want to spread the cost of that one as well, then you can do just £12.50 being your initial payments alongside your post and packing. But it's not all that we've got, because if you've got that flexi order open, why not add one of these in? Because this is your fabulous Craft World, um, Craft World Special Magazine kit. Now, within this, you've got a boxed kit. Again, lots and lots of content. We'll look at this as the hour progresses. It's only £9.99. Going into your flexi order, it's an extra fiver. That's got to be worth it for the stamps alone. I mean, have a look at what you're getting in here. Absolutely incredible value for money. No, it's proven to be popular. And normally you'd be paying at um, or twelve ninety nine for that. So you can see you've got an instant saving there. But um, even at twelve ninety nine, to be honest, that's a really good buy. So do pop those into your baskets. But before you check your baskets out, dare I say Christmas? Well, I'm going to because I, can, I know a lot of you um, craft for Christmas all year round, and that is the key thing. This is a lovely box that's been put together by the incredible Helen Griffith. And of course, this one um, is very much a Christmas theme, but to be honest, there's elements in here I think you'll use all year round. Oh, absolutely. There's an awful lot in here that you're going to use. So, again, stamps and dies, you've got beautiful sentiments in there that can come mm -hmm. out at any time. You've got card, card stock, I was going to say coordinating card stock, but it is, but plain <laughs> card stock that you can use, good quality, it's double sided there. Um, you've got embossing ink, you've got embossing powder as well. So, definitely lots. There is a cracker die in here, oh, which wow. is really fun to use. So, People start creating use crackers all year around as well. I've seen oh, them yeah. as well, kind of weddings and things like that. But Absolutely. They on the table, yeah. yeah, I think especially at the moment, if we have a birthday, for example, you want to make it extra special, don't you? Yeah. Because we can't really go out to restaurants and things at the moment. Mm -hmm. So maybe you've got something coming up and you want to treat the family yeah. to a nice meal and um, to create... It's nice way of presenting a gift as well in a Yeah, cracker. definitely. Love it. Now, if you want to get hold of yours, the details are on your screen. Again, you are getting loads within this box. The inspiration from Helen there that we know and love. And, of course, it, when you get that box home, you've got that experience of opening it up. And I love this because you've got the Nutcracker featuring on the, the lid of this Yes, box. absolutely. So um, I know so many people love Nutcrackers, and Helen really does. So, again, the Velcro box. We've even got foiling on the box, which wow. I love. It just shows you the quality. So Helen says, I'm over the moon to bring you this Christmas crafting box to play with. So, yes, we are looking at Christmas. Let's have a delve into here. It's so pretty. I love the colourways that she's used. <laughs> so, should we start with the stamps? Yes. Because very often the dies will coordinate with the stamps. So, we really have got a Nutcracker theme running through here. So, we've got a ballerina, which you definitely can mm. use away from Christmas uh, for all those little girls in your life that love them. Well, my son quite likes watching ballet, actually. Yes. So, girls, boys, either way. Um, we've got the bow there as well. We've got florals in there. We've got a lantern, a little drum kit. We've got a key, like a vintage key there. Of course, it could be something like... Uh, Sanders key at Christmas yes. time, but any time of year you can use that for a vintage look. Twinkle all the way. Uh, obviously, Merry Christmas, Joy to the World, Have a Cracking Christmas, and your holly and your poinsettias and your baubles. Your nutcracker there as well. So we've got all of those in stamp form. There's a lot on there. Another A5 set that we've got is the dies. And you'll recognise some of those silhouettes because they will cut out many of your stamped images for you. We've got an extra additional Christmas tree in there, but it's this large one that is the most fun. And this is what a lot of the box features around is this cracker die. So you'll cut two of those, you can create your own crackers. We've even got the cracker snaps in the box under here, so you can really get that full sort of snap effect it. when you open them up, which is really Fabulous. good fun. I wouldn't even know where to start if I wanted to make many crackers. Yeah, well, it's kind of all about the dimensions, isn't it? Yeah. I'd be tempted to get one of these boxes, you know, and put it away with my Christmas decorations, because many of us are popping yes. them back up in the loft now, Yep. In places. Yep. And then you've almost got a second surprise when you bring the box down and you start yep. crafting um, later on in the year. Absolutely. So again, we've got pattern papers and we have got as well in here foiled toppers. So these Ooh. are all die, die cut. I'm trying to make sure they don't fall apart, but essentially they will just pop apart for you. You've got foiling on them, beautiful toppers that will make your really, really quick cards or even scrapbook pages. It may be now that you're scrapbooking mm. from this Christmas. That's you want a good to point. Document yes. it. Yeah. So um, make sure Baby's you've got... Baby's first Christmas, Janice. Maybe yeah. you need to get one of these kits yourself. 
Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Nisa, come on. <laughs> and then we've got beautiful papers. So we have got some with the Nutcracker on. We've got Merry Christmas in the blue there. We've got a floral that to me doesn't scream Christmas either. You could certainly use that all year round. And then we're back to, that's the wrong way around. We've got the ornaments there and like the dried orange pieces. I love them at Christmas. It and smells, isn't it? In the yeah, cinnamon. gorgeous. Oh, and then jokes. we have got the jokes <laughs> that go inside the cracker as well. So these are all perforated, so you can easily tear, fold and tear these. I don't want to ruin it. Um, and it. you've got different jokes on all of those. Go so. on, go on, crack us um, a joke. Okay, so uh, what often falls at the North Pole but never gets hurt? Falls at the North Pole? I don't know. Snow. Oh, as simple as that. I was certainly it, yeah, overcomplicating you were that particular one. <laughs> I was indeed. Thinking um, penguins. Uh, Mega, who is um, our producer for the show, she's come up with a very valid point. There's a lot of people that obviously Christmas this year hasn't been as we would normally spend Christmas. Mm -hmm. So some people are kind of putting it on delay and later in the year they're going to be having their yes. Christmases. Maybe in the summer. I mean, we quite often here when we start talking about Christmas products, it kicks off probably June time. Yep. So I think there'll be a lot of people that will be doing that. So Absolutely. again, good idea. Definitely. So grab it. I mean, you're getting so much value definitely grab it while we've got it we've got the project booklet as well of course with all those step-by-step -step photos i'm not going to flick through this too much there's at least 15 projects in each booklet so you can see that and different designs this is not all designed by helen she does have a large input but there's other designers bought in to work with them to okay. give you different styles and that's the same for all the booklets I love the tissue paper as well. I love to use this. I put it aside and use it for things like if I'm creating um, baskets and hampers when it comes to Christmas time and things. We've got the bells. I love those because you've got just the right amount because you don't want a hundred bells, no. do you, if you're crafting for Christmas. But that's just a nice little amount to put a few on gift bags and things like that. We've got a full-size embossing ink pad there. And to go alongside this, We've got the embossing powder oh, wow. as well in the silver colour. Um, the PS is Papercraft Society, by the way, if you didn't, if you wonder what, what brand is PS, <laughs> I've never seen that before. We've then got a beautiful satin ribbon in there too that works really well with that embossing powder being silver. We've got these snaps that I was talking about in there as well, so you can make your crackers. I believe there's 10 in there. I might need to be corrected. I think there's 10 snaps in there, or okay. cracker pulls, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them. Yeah, there so are got 10, those. yeah. And then we've got the postcard. So what, what Helen's side do is actually tell you how to create the cracker step by step. So that is a completely separate project for you. Lovely. And then lastly, we've got the cardstock. So the cardstock always comes with this belly band around it. So let me just take this off. It's nice, tight, tightly wound. So of course, I'm not going to easily get this off. This is an easier way of doing it for you. Let's lift Look at up. those gorgeous colours. They are stunning, aren't they? So we've got the red, the navy blue, the nice deep green that's going to be your holly leaves and things, and then this nice cream colour that's going to work with those backing papers that we saw. Lovely. I think there's two of each of those, by the way. I think that's everything in that box. There's a lot in there. And again, with any of those boxes, you know that you're investing in quality because you're going to get a lot for your money. As I said, the website is probably the best place for you to shop, really, because you'll be able to see all the different boxes. You'll be able to get a feel for what the uh, different projects are in there. But of course, don't forget to add in your special magazine as well. Uh, for that extra fiver with your flexi bite is definitely worth going for that one we'll show you a little bit later on but if you want to add it in now please do so and again jam-packed full of loads of different projects now we're going to go straight into a demonstration with Lou in the next few moments but of course if you've got any questions that you're wanting to ask do get involved Lou's back again at um, 11 o'clock with myself a little bit later on we're just coming up to halfway through the show so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask or maybe share maybe you've invested in one of these boxes before and you've been creating I'd love to see what you've been up to studio at achanda.com if you want to get in touch okay Lou over to you okay so um, the first one I'm going I'm going to go back to my one which was box number 14 um, and this is the one that's both the winter flowers but we'll also work in spring and summer as well um, I just I love blues I love blues I love wood grain and I love a, a splash of gold too so I'm going to use one of my wood grain papers there and just to um, give that a little bit of a lift I'm going to go round the edge with this grey ink pad so that will just edge it so it doesn't look as if it's been cut it looks as if the panel is already sort of um, worked to size so it doesn't leave you with that that bare white edge and what I also wanted to do was roll up a little edge of this so as I roll it I am going to ink underneath it once I've rolled it as far as I want and this just adds a little bit of detail to the bottom so just roll that and then I can just brush over the edge and that just takes that stark 
white, bright white away a little bit. So that's going to sit on the base of my card. And underneath that rolled paper there, I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit of another of the pattern papers included in the kit under there, just for a little bit of colour. So that just makes it look as if you've got lots of layers on your card without having to lose everything under here just by adding a little spot on, on there. So just pop these down. And I can glue these now with, down with a wet glue rather than worrying about having to put foam tape and things on. Because I've got that roll of the paper, it automatically looks as if it's lifted up and got dimension. So just pop that on there. If, of course, if you are going to be posting this and you're worried about this either going in an envelope or going through the post with that roll, you can just tear it instead for another look. So glue that one down there. And this is probably my favourite wood grain where it's more of a whitewashed wood. So it looks a little bit vintage. Love the colour palette that you've chosen for this one. I mean, blue is oh, another favourite yeah. of mine as well. I had so. completely uh, free reign with this. I could have chosen any colours I wanted, and I just thought blues with a, a little bit of bright gold in there as well. Um, speaking of the bright gold, I am going to bring in a banner of that gold, but with that teal blue over the Ooh, top. Yes. So that's going to create a ribbon strip at the top there. And coming down from here, I want to have some flowers and things. So I've taken one of the other pattern papers. So this has got like some watercolour florals on it. This will work really well with your watercolour ink. If you want to try doing your own florals, um, you can do that. We've got some, um, some descriptions in the project booklet for you. So you can have a look at those and start trying those with the brush that's included. It's the perfect shaped watercolour brush for that. Um, I've, as you can see, I've cut some elements out of here already, but I've saved everything so I can use that again. So that has cut these pieces. So what I can do now is just tuck these underneath where that strip will be. So I'll just line it up with the top of the wood grain. And again, I can just stick this down completely flat. I'm going to stick the top down but leave the bottom free. So you can just lift those up then if you want to. And I am going to overlap the edge of the card very slightly just here and here so I will make sure my envelope is slightly bigger um, if you want to get the overlapped look you can take a card base and the matching envelope and then just trim the card base down ever so slightly so it will still fit in the envelope but you'll get that overlapping look over the edge of your card I'm just going to fill the top edge with this little leaf here that I've painted and I love that we've got although it's all watercolor we've got the deep colors along with the paler colors and this is all one shade and this is what I wanted to teach you with the blue ink that's inside the kit is using one color you can get multiple different shades um, of paint and painted images with your watercolor so again all that tuition is inside that project booklet for you I love this as well. And is this a bonus project? I mean, is this included within the booklet or are you kind of giving no, us this an is, extra this one? No, this is new. So this Ooh, is an, an extra one. Yeah, all the ones on the show today are, uh, they might be inspired by cards. This is inspired by a card that Sam Calcott did. Okay. But it is completely different as well. So there's different elements to it. So yeah, if you're recording the shows for when you're, you get your box home, you won't find these projects exactly in the book either. Okay. So, yep. Bonus it's always ones. nice to have a little video, uh, and as I say, they go back and rewind and you can watch. Talking of which, um, uh, social media, can we actually see any kind of little videos and things like that from Papercraft Society? Yes, you can. Um, there's lots online, actually. There's If you go to papercraftsociety.co.uk, you can find um, there's videos attached to the products. Oh, so okay. you can see inspirational videos on there. Um, we have... Uh, I believe there's Pinterest, there's um, on the Craft Stash Inspiration, uh, Craft Stash Instagram page, there's going to be pa uh, Paper Craft Society Inspiration on there as well. And lots of people will actually hashtag on social Paper Craft Society. So if you pop that hashtag in and search, you're going to find lots of pe other people's um, ideas that they've done because these boxes have been out delivered to most people now who have subscribed to them so they'll al already be getting projects lined up. I love up. it because that signage is actually on the box as well so if you, you need to, to find out how you can get involved the website's there the hashtag as we spoke of as well that's there so you get that reminder. Yeah so that's I always find that's the easiest way to search for anything nowadays is a, a hashtag. And well yeah. It sounds very modern but it works. It does. It works. My, my sticky's unraveled itself. I'm just using foam tape here. You can use wet glue, but foam tape works quite well to lift this sentiment up. Now, this is one of the sentiments that I, I hand painted, and I did actually paint this with the blue ink. Okay, so all of the die cut pieces have been hand painted 
using not all of them but some of them with the blue ink that's included in the box so you know they're going to work so if you want to create yourself a watercolor background maybe there's like a splodging and smooching technique and things like that that are nice easy to use the technique that we're seeing with these die cut elements and obviously you've got the tuition this one for the brush lettering now i know this is kind of your field your brush lettering yes. it's kind of one of your 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 best love projects for some people, like myself, I'd be a little bit nervous, to be honest. Is it something that we can pick up quite easy from one of these boxes? Yes. So um, I've given you tuition. And there's also, if you look in the project booklet, there is a place where you can download um, templates and things to follow. I've given you the, uh, the couple of sentiment stamps that you can stamp in the pale grey and then go over with the pen as well. So you've got two different ways of learning lettering through this box, actually, because you can learn with the pen, which is... I think for beginners that will be the easiest way for you to learn to start with and then you can move to a brush and ink which is a little less um, it's a little less predictable but it gives you a beautiful effect so um, I love that idea I feel a bit more confident with you mentioning the ink pad there actually because I haven't thought about that that gray line remember when we used to be at school and you used to kind of trace around the letters that were down on the page I suppose yes. it's very similar to that absolutely um, and you can see here step by step the is showing you how you can do that even if you've got things like fonts on your computer I'm guessing that you can kind of print off in like a gray scale can't, yes. it doesn't have to be a solid black oh absolutely and then you trace over the top of it. If you go online, there's so many um, hand lettering templates or hand lettering practice sheets, that's probably the best thing mm. to um, put in, and you can print them off to the size of whatever you're using. So this is a small tip nib, so you need to print those letters off quite small for this, but um, if you're using the paintbrush, you'll need to print them off a little bit bigger because you'll get bigger strokes. So there's yeah. lots and lots online to be able to find and help you with. Um, but this is just really giving you the few, few tools to start with, because I think the first step is actually getting those tools isn't it well, it's and very, knowing yeah and it's a very affordable way of giving it a go without yeah. having to buy like a huge set of i don't i remember one christmas getting a calligraphy set and i think oh, like, it yeah. came out the box once and that was it i was that terrified i couldn't achieve it and that was it it went under the bed or disappeared I don't know where Absolutely. it ended up but yep. something like this you're getting the opportunity to give it a go yeah that's very very common so you can see that I've just used um, the sequins match perfectly with the glitter paper. Um, they're this exact same yellow gold, so they work really well together. And I love how they work with the blue. So if Beautiful. I just stand that up, we've got dimensions. That's quite a contem I, I do have a contemporary, like a quite a modern style. Yes. And you could definitely make that more traditional card if you want to. But it like, really is cutting and sticking. There's nothing else. Very achievable. Too, yeah. yeah too complex in there love it there you go thank you Lou You're um we're busy you're loving these boxes and of course we've been concentrating on Lou's box to start with with those gorgeous blues in there the um gray ink pad is in there the stamps the dies the inspiration the cardstock the background papers that fabulous um gorgeous glittery um card that you've got in there and of course the fabulous sequins that are going to coordinate in fact, you've got over £60 worth of project, um, a kind of a product, should I say, within here, which means that when you're paying just £24.99, that's without thinking about the tuition, um, just how brilliant value these are. And I think a lot of you are recognising that. So 651834, if you fancy getting hold of those. So do pop them into your basket. And of course, you can see all the different elements. Now, I touched on the magazine that we were talking about earlier on. This is something that's definitely worth considering. You're looking at less than a tenner, um, £9.99. And you you are getting a magazine that is cram packed full of um, ideas um, and a, again the product that's in featuring within here and I often think that magazines are a nice way for you to learn. Now, this one, look at this, 174 elements and ideas. That is what you call value for money. For less than a tenner, you are getting all of that in here. But, of course, this is something that you're going to kind of learn from initially when, of course, you get them back, the stamps, the dies. You'll be looking at those projects. But it's also a nice reference guide, or reference guide, should I say, that you can go back to. So when your crafting mojo maybe has left you, or you're, you're just wanting to craft, but you really don't know what you're wanting to make, and you just can't get yourself going then just having a little flick through these pages will give you the inspiration to start picking up those crafty bits that you've got in your craft room and start creating my goodness when are we coming to the end of these papers there's loads in there then of course you've got your projects and this is the thing that I love when you flick through this magazine as you saw there and you can see actually when I hold it like so the um, the main aspect with this magazine are the papers that are in there there's a lot of ma a lot of papers in here Lou 
Yeah, and they are magazine quality paper. They are smooth. They are uh, matte as well. So your inks are going to work really well with them. You're going, they're a white course. So you can distress them. You can emboss them and then sand them back. And of course, you can die cut them as well. Beautiful. So of course, those are in there along with the your tuition and your inspiration. Got loads within here. You've got your stamps. You've got your dies. You've also got an embossing folder as well. Really a brilliant value bundle. And as I say, $9.99. Even if you're getting this, dare I say, it sounds horrible saying it, but with many crafters out there will resonate. You don't always want your nieces, your nephews, your kids, your grandchildren getting involved with your own personal crafting stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know that we feeling. get a bit precious, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a lovely way for maybe for a young crafter. You can give them this as a kit, and it's almost like their own little set. Obviously, you, you can uh, give the adult supervision for them to use your die cutting machine, maybe your inks. But what a lovely little idea that they've got their own little crafting world that they're going to be able to create some amazing projects. And the sentiments that you've got with this one, absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. $9.99, fabulous value for money. 911338 if you're wanting to get hold of this. And as I say, with Flex Travaganza, if you're wanting to get hold of that, it's to, you can spread the cost over two payments. Now we've got about 15 minutes left, so we're going to have another look at one of those uh, boxes. At this time, we're going to look at Linda's box, which has proved to be very, very popular with all those gorgeous springtime elements in there. And Lou, you've got a demonstration for us with this one. Yes, I have. So I'm going to make a card with this one. Obviously, it's going to be a very different style to the one I just made. Um, let's just get everything out now I like to get everything out of my desk and spread it all around so because I know everything coordinates together um, it's nice to be able to see everything um, I'm going to work with these dies here and that's the beautiful like um, scalloped edge and the pin dot or the eyelets that come with it as well okay. I've cut my card down I'll just measure this for you actually because it's five inches so you know the die is five inches tall but I think you could probably work around repeating this if you wanted to do it on the edge of a tall card um, or just snip it down you don't have to do this on the edge either of course this could be the base instead so I'm just lining these two up I'm going to die cut them both together I'm going to leave a little gap between the eyelet and the border and I'm going to use two pieces of tape just to hold them still and then open my card up so this is probably a card that's a little bit smaller than I'd usually make but like I say if you wanted to do this uh, on a taller card or a larger card you can absolutely just repeat the die cutting side by side um, and have two two scallop scallops as such so I'm going to go forward and just back again there we go. So that has cut my front page of my card into a shaped card base. Let me just pop this plate back in so it's not in my way. I'm going to remove the tape from here as well, very gently. And that should leave me with not only the scalloped edge but the eyelets. I'm just lifting that tape up very gently because I don't want to tear the paper with my tape there as it's new. So we've then got those eyelets oh, there. There's a couple pretty. just to pop out. It's cut through absolutely beautifully there. And now if you're a bit more careful, you could line that up a little bit neater. I've got a little tab there. So what I'll do is just snip that away. Okay, so that's my card base almost ready. I've got some colour to put on the inside. So I will cut out some yellow that will sit inside here. And the quickest, unless you want a border, the quickest way to do that, pop that inside the card, turn that round, and then I just take something, either a pencil or my pokey tool, and I just run that along. So I've then got some guidelines. I like to cut things rather than getting a trimmer out all the time. I'm still, I still love to use a craft knife. Okay. And, I mean, it's, it's an older way of using it, really. I mean, most people have trimmers nowadays, mm -hmm. but I just, a craft knife and a metal ruler, I still love to use them. Well, on um, well, my Thursday morning, we had a fabulous show. I think it's about nine o'clock in the morning with the Slice, who do ceramic knives. Very oh. interesting show. So do have a little look. If you are looking for craft knives and you're a little bit nervous about using a metal blade, check out on the website. You'll be able to go back and watch. Lovely Harry, he was giving us loads of demonstrations. And as I say, the brand um, is called Slice. I've just found a little card being created with that die in a slightly different manner. And I love it. It's almost like a little window box, this one. Really yeah. cute design with that yep. gorgeous little scallop there as lots, you can see lots. so loads of ways you can be able to use that yeah everything is so versatile in these kits now just to speed things up as we're getting towards the end of the show i'm going to take a card base here that i've made but i've already stamped the sentiment on the sentiment has come from inside the box there 
I'm just going to cover the inside. It should be, hopefully, the same size card base. <laughs> now I've cut my paper around the other one. So pop that inside of there. there. And by putting that yellow behind, that really is just lifting up the white and really making sure that pops, that edge pops Lovely for you. Lovely card. So popping that to the side. Then the next thing I'm going to do is some stamping. Now, we've got the most beautiful floral stamps in here. This one is absolutely my favourite, and I love to colour it in with alcohol pens. Now, this is going to be, um, it's going to be quite small. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. But I'm going to use the yellow ink that's inside the box. Okay, right. oh, there's, there's so much in here. <laughs> I'm just, let's reach in here. I didn't get it all out because the tissue paper makes so much noise <laughs> when you've got a microphone on. So let's pop that down there. Now, one thing I am adding to this project is my alcohol pens. Of course, they don't come in the box, but most people will have pencils, pens, some sort of colouring medium already in your stash. Um, if you don't, it's a great great chance to have a go. Pick up just a primary colour set or something and start having a go at colouring in your stamped images. Um, but these look equally as beautiful without being coloured in, uh, sorry, without um, being coloured in as well. They look beautiful if they're just embossed or something. So I've got the yellow on there. Now there's two ways of doing this. This is a water-based ink, so it's not going to react with your alcohol pens. I've got, being yellow, obviously, you're not going to see the detail really well, but I've got my first impression. Then I've also got, if I stamp that again, I've got my second impression, which is extremely pale. I can see that nicely for colouring in. Looks obviously, pretty, through yeah. the camera, it's going to be quite pale. But what I've then done is taken a couple of different colours of pens, and I've made the centres quite dark. I'm going to work on this this one because it's darker and I'm going to have to come down a little bit because my eyesight without my glasses on isn't great but I've just gone round now like I say this is a water-based ink included so you can mix this with waters a bit like you would with your distress inks and mm -hmm. make your own sort of inks and backing papers with them with this ink but it also means that your alcohol pens are not going to react with it so you can colour around the edges and you're still going to see that yellow edge afterwards which makes for a really pretty flower so i'm just dragging some ink from the bottom of that petal base of that petal that's darker out to the lighter color there and letting that blend now i'm not going to go around and do every petal i just did all of them the same and i did a variety of different colors but within the same color family and then i've got my my flowers oh, here so i've got effective. five yeah five different petals so that's what we call almost like a no line coloring effect yes. because you can barely see the line i don't know if i can just show you on these two because they've been colored in the exactly the same colors i believe it's these two uh, or almost the same colors but you can really see the yellow line on this one which oh, was the yes, first impression yeah. And you can't, you can hardly see it at all on this one, which is the second impression. Everyone will have a preference. Yes. Okay, so everyone will be different, but that's just the effect you get. So sometimes you might prefer to stamp on a scrap of paper and then use your second impression to colour in. <coughs> so let's bring those over to my card here, and I'm going to mix these around a little bit. So what I like to do is position them sort of roughly on my craft mat so that I've got a, a bit of a... a a design there to go with some something like that just spacing the colors out so i know roughly where they're going to go um, and i love these flowers because you can be tucking the petals in and out i'm going to use a wet glue so i can and just in the centers as well so i can move these about once they're down so i'm going to overlap that just avoiding my sentiment there I've just used a, a golden yellow and a pale brown for the centres, if anyone's wondering. Whoops. If anyone's wondering what colours I use. I mean, for I that. love these. I mean, this style, you could create these. And I'm just thinking of different coloured flowers, things like gerberas in, in kind of pinks and blues yeah. and purples, a similar style flower. Yeah, just avoiding that sentiment. Yeah, absolutely. Again, we've got different, different flowers in the stamps as well. So uh, this is just one of them that I wanted to show you. But there's other florals in there too that you could use. And then, like you say, different colours. They really could vary them. You could do lilacs and blues as well. Just make your own flowers. 
Some really pretty kind of daisy style flowers as well, where you've got dye that could cut them out at the same time if you wanted to. Yeah, so these ones I've hand cut, but there mm -hmm. are dyes to cut some others. Um, and then there is a dye included, or there's a few different foliage dyes included in this box to cut out some different designs there. I've just cut them from that pastel green that's included, the card that was included in the kit. And just to finish, I'm going to scatter these around, um, just peeking out from the flowers. <coughs> there so that will tuck under and like I said by using um, a wet glue I can then sort of rejig these if I need to so again there's me overlapping my card which is something I always like to do popping spacing out the longer ones with the shorter ones so the two different types of foliage there Just tucking the stems under the petals if you like your dimensional cards you can lift these petals up as well and start shaping some of those. You could get um, maybe something like your pokey tool and roll some of those petals around it to give it a little bit of shape. Uh, let's pop this one over in, the, whoops, in this corner. Lovely, nice gentle palettes that you've got with these gorgeous colours. Yeah, so very so um, the one that we showed before the blue box that's quite strong colours. This is much more just more spring like these ones, aren't they? Isn't that lovely. There we go. Perfect. So if I just stand that up, that's a very different <coughs> style of card there using Linda's box. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, this has all come from Linda's box and the details are on your screen there. But of course, it is cram packed full of all sorts of wonderful goodies. Um, if you, you have got, um, obviously, adding this into your basket, you'll have all those gorgeous bits and pieces um, that you can play around with in there. So you've got your papers, you've got your stamps, you've got all your different elements. Your little gorgeous embellishments as well. So if you wanted to add those um, to the centre of your flowers and things like that, absolutely the easiest way of doing it. But it's all coordinated and put together in that box there so if you fancy that one that one is Linda's it's not the only box we've got with you we've got a lovely Lou and if you have just joined us do go back and watch the demonstration because Lou did show us a wonderful bonus project with these but lots of projects within that and of course all the products that you need to create them 24.99 for each one of these boxes and this one's Lou's 651834 but then Helen's box is lovely again a very much a red and green Christmassy theme with this one um, but of course there's lots of elements in there that you'll be able to use all year round and don't forget you're getting that Christmas cracker die in this one as well 24.99 at 715672 um, so yeah there you go those are our three boxes but don't forget we've got the magazine as well now I'm just wondering Lou have you got the magazine there to have a little flick through I to have. show everybody yes. Yes. wonderful let's have a little look in those covers absolutely okay so let's just take all of this out it all comes boxed uh, together so you're not going to lose anything um, you've got the two stamp sets the die and or two dies and the embossing folder I'll go through those in just a moment if we get time um, the magazine itself we've got various designers and these are going to be designers that you'll know of so we've got Helen Griffin there we've got oh hello to Natalie Natalie is our craft world editor um, so a little interview with her in there and we have got beautiful projects but the idea with this kit is that all of the projects are using the elements that you're getting in the box so Sam Calcott there has created some cards for you um, I know there's some mixed media pieces in here there's like a piece of home decor but as you said there's in the center these papers are absolutely beautiful you do get two of each so if there's a double-sided one and you really don't want don't know which side to use you do get a second one so you can use both sides they are beautiful quality they've got that matte finish so you can stamp on them without having to worry about using your stays on or anything like that your, your normal stamps will work really well you can see mine's used because I put my papers back in there. But these are in the centre, so if you want to, you can actually remove the entire paper pack from the magazine and you're left with just the inspiration there. So I think there's something like 82 elements included in that paper pack, which is huge. More cards, there's interviews in there as well. Beautiful pieces, I love these. So these are like your mixed media cards here, if that's the sort of style that you love. And then with these, we've got all of our stamps included as well. They are stunning. So we've got a bit of a vintage theme going on here with some florals. I'm sorry, I need a piece of white, don't I, really, to be able to just show you. Oh, look, that just about fits, I think. So we've got the butterflies in there. Oh, we've got the cogs and gears. 
This background is stunning. Hopefully in the next hour I'll get to do a, um, a card for you very quickly using that background. We've got a script background there as well and the keys. I love these weeds, these, oh, not weeds, that's awful, wildflowers. They're not weeds, <laughs> they're wildflowers. <laughs> um, my husband will call them weeds and I said, no, no, no. Um, and then we've got some more on here and sentiments that are just going to cover every occasion. So we've got thinking of you, Mother's, uh, so obviously we've got the word day, so we've got Mother's Day and Father's Day. Hello, on your special day anniversary with love. Um, birthday, happy, just to say. So you're covering everyone there. The dies here, so this will cut out one of the butterfly dies. And then these overlapping circles are really fun. You can actually create some really modern cards with that one or keep it quite traditional. Um, again, I've got another demonstration for that. I don't know when we're going to get time to do them because the hours <laughs> just fly. And a six by six embossing folder with a very, it's like a vintage wallpaper look, this distressed Gorgeous. Baroque look in there, which is stunning. And they, this is a really nice deep impression embossing folder as well. So you've got some beautiful tools there, things that you won't have seen before because they are exclusively made. And you've then got all of the projects inside the pages of the magazine showing you lots and lots of different cards and home decor pieces for using those. I love it. Now, don't forget, um, lovely Lou's back with us at 11 o'clock, so perhaps we'll get to see a little demonstration using this particular kit because we've had so much yep. on the show, just haven't had a chance to show you everything. So do make sure you do come back and join myself and Lou at 11 o'clock. Got anything in your basket? Now is the time for you to be checking those baskets out. But a very popular show. Lots of you going for the different kits in different certain kind of situations. Many of you adding in that magazine. And as you see there, $9.99. How affordable is it for all of those fabulous elements in there? And don't forget, you can spread the cost over two payments. Any of the goodies that you added into your basket, because we are still in Flex Extravaganza, you can spread that cost over two payments. Post and packing just goes on that first payment and the second payment in a month's time. Now, don't go anywhere. We've got lots more coming up here at Chanda. It's 8 o'clock, so it's time to look at the one-day special. See you later. It's a fabulous one. Lovely Charmaine is here from Dolly Dimples. Looking forward to this hour. Then I will be joining you with jewellery box. I always love our jewellery box sessions. And then we've got a little bit of sewing with sewing with Olive Road. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there.
Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. A very good morning to you on this Saturday morning. Now, it might be cold and frosty where you are. I was telling everybody, I was telling Hayley this morning, it looked like I left Narnia this morning. Snowy Christmas card, got onto the motorway. Not a, not a jot, nothing there. <laughs> so it looks like I've just come out of Narnia's wardrobe. Anyway, we are here at the One Day Special. So stay cosy, tune in, have a cup of tea and look at the gorgeous we've got for you with the lovely Charmaine. Good morning, my darling. Oh, why, thank you. The lovely Charmaine. There she is. I'm loving it here. And I you get brought back... lady as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It's our, it's our gorgeous uh, uh, dolly tots, as it were. Now, you brought these back by popular demand, haven't I you? I did, yeah, they have. Um, hopefully, some that I've got, some parts to them, can get the other parts to them as yes. well. So they've come really, really well. I'm really pleased. And it's our lovely Anne-Marie who's done their designs for them. Are they cute? Yeah. They're, they're stunning. And I love the way you can mix and match <coughs> the crowns and the hearts and the hats. And then we've got some uh, little borders there. Or oh, it could be borders, could be toast, it could be anything, really. Uh, and then you've got that lovely rocket and the kite and the footprints are brilliant. Uh, lots to play with there, isn't they? there? Intermingle, yeah, mix and match. Yeah. I mean, the footprints you could be for baby cards. Aren't and, they know, just? New steps, or if you're doing scrapbooks and things like that, it could be, you know, the first steps in with a scrapbook husband. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and there's some great generic ones there as well, in terms of, uh, I, I'm a big fond, of, uh, very fond of splodges. Uh, Charmaine as well. Look, there's our little birdies as well. There's a yeah, it's splats. You know, like splodges and splats. I, 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 I get love them those. naturally with my thumb prints, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they do work really well for just covering up and great for a fast one. I'll have to use that one as a fast one. Yeah. I'm desperate to do fast cards on TV. <laughs> it doesn't work for me fast. 
<laughs> there we go. Just showing you the size of these fantastic stamps as well. There's one up there, which is Eve, the, the little girl with the little top with the big bunchy hair. Oh, yes, there and she that's is. And Marie's granddaughter. Is it really? And it's named after her. And what's her name? Eve. Eve, <laughs> forgive me. Right. Ah, oh, Eve. I love the hair. The hair is fantastic, as is the, and a beautiful name. Yeah, absolutely. There we go with the sunnies on. And we've got some fantastic samples. And when you look at these, I do want you to notice as well, because do shop ahead. Uh, Charmaine's brought her fabulous papers and we've got some stunning stencils as well. So you'll see a lot of this is all interlinked yeah. and intermingled. Yeah, you see the legs on that one? The legs? Yeah. Oh, she's the chopped, jiggly daddy She's chopped legs. the legs off and added, that's, uh, just... that's done for her So she's chopped the legs oh, off and oh, added string and popped her. You could make them really long dangly legs if you wanted. That's, and not the nice. knees, which reminds me of my childhood. But we'll go into that tale because I've already told it in a previous <laughs> era. I've got to rewind. <laughs> uh, so we've got these words as well in your paper sheets. Isn't that beautiful? I love this, the cutting in the half there. Uh, you've got your stencils on the show. These are some more stamps that we've got in as well. Just gorgeous. I mean, this is just a stunning, stunning work of art. I just think it's beautiful. And uh, you can see all the stamps, uh, the way they've been coloured there as well, and those beautiful brights, fantastic. There's that, I love that um, sort of the screwdriver stencil there as well that we've got on the show as well, big favourite of mine. That looks beautiful. And then you've got the stamp set I know as well, Charmaine. They all mix and match all really mix and well, match, don't, don't they? they? Yeah. Just gorgeous. I mean, there's so many fantastic samples here. Behind me as well, um, down here on the counter. Oh, as we go along, this is Anne-Marie as well, is it? There we go, both of these are We're looking at that style, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beautiful, you've got boxes, and there's your beautiful Celicia. She's using the papers there. We've got this template as well, haven't we, to make your card? Yes, that's, that's the one I think I did in the first, uh, the first show. The, the, the six o'clock, six, it? Yeah, maybe yeah, six o'clock then, yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Now we've got all of these fantastic stamps on two flexi by payments of £22.48. 095604. You've also got a freedom discount there, which is even bigger. So it's a bit of a why not? Spending the extra means you save even more. So 597 for a freedom uh, membership, that gives you unlimited standard delivery for the month, but an even greater saving of £20 there as well. So £20.99 to be precise, and that brings your payments down to two flexi by payments of £22.48. 095604, and nearly a quarter of the stock has gone. Now, if you want the corresponding dies to match your stamps, the only way to acquire the dies, because you can get the stamps individually, but the only way to get the dies is in this complete collection. But we still managed to bring you a great saving there as well, because we're taking the savings, adding them on, and then you've got the die savings there. And we'll split that into three flexi by payments for you as well of £31.63. So we can spread that cost over January, February, March, 892 285. And all of those dies, as it stands, corresponds with the stamps. So that's the entire collection of 48 dies, 48 stamps there, 892-985. Now, like I said, shop ahead for the other stamps and the papers and the card templates as well. Uh, we will get to them eventually. And the lovely stencils, I'm mad about these stencils. But we have got a happy hour deal. I do want to flag up straight away to give you a maximum of an hour. Now, I will say I'm just missing a couple of... Um, some gem stickers here. I know they're with Charmaine on the counter because I've just seen the long border one that she's got as well. So you'll see that uh, as she's working. So I've got five here, but you are actually getting eight. Um, and I've got ten of the buttons. So let's have a little look at the buttons here. Now I can show you the still and everything. That, uh, so we've got beautiful, almost like little flower shamrocks, traditional buttons. You've got the flowers there. Um, and some of the lovely patterns on them. They're like licorice, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? flowers on the buttons themselves they're all different uh absolutely beautiful so that's 10 packs there and i mean in that pack alone you've got eight eight buttons then we've got your craft gem now you've got every every size and shape here these are flower shaped um oh i just need something la 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 let me just borrow a card there so you've got your flower shapes there uh these are about half a centimeter you know and your crystal whites we've got some that are graduating in size some that are covered with a sort of aurora borealis uh, shades there the rainbow iridescence on the surface and then we've got some long border ones as well which are with charmaine and on the on the on the still image we're going to show you now yeah and some really bright rainbow ones as well they look like the flowers as well so 9.99 you will get eight packs you will get the 10 packs of the buttons 774796 that's a happy hour deal then at nine o'clock that's going to go back up to 14.99 so uh, don't miss out um, some others just to mention as well, 
we've got our paper pack. Now, this is 15 design, two designs of 15 sheets. And there they are. They're bursting with colour. And you'll have seen a lot of those uh, in the samples I just showed you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Plain on the underside. £9 saving. Big saving on that one this morning. 246940. We'll have a closer look at those in a bit. But they really, they really are stunning. And uh, we've got some accessory stamps and the templates and stencils as well. But let's go and say hello to our Charmaine because she's come in bright and burly. So uh, well, we need to, we need to see you. Bright and burly. Oh, burly. Got one need to see burly. you, my darling. <laughs> I'm here. OK, I've taken a sheet of my mixed media card and I've cut it into a 4 by 4 card and scored it. And I've got that in my press, and I am going to go with the birdie stamp. Oh, can I remember which collection the birdie stamp is? Why did I not get it out? Because I've just changed my mind on what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, you know, I was going to run with what I'd started last night, and I changed my mind. So, would you um, show me that long gem sheet as well? Just, just while you're there, just because you had it in your hand. No, it's mine. I don't want to. I sell know, it. but it's just because I didn't have a sample. Just uh, you could see it peeping out. Yeah, exactly. I have used some of them, but you can see that you get you get the pearls. No, I like natural colours. I like the pearls and the clear gems and the sparkly ones, the Aurora Borealis ones like these ones that really sort of twinkle but one of the reasons why I do like them is you can then take like your alcohol pens and you can just run over the top of them and you can change the colours ah. to perfectly match whatever you're using. Yes, of course. So, I mean, if you don't that. have alcohol pens, you can use like the Sharpies. Oh, yeah. Or any sort of um, semi permanent, permanent pen. Permanent, permanent pen. pen, yeah. A permanent marker. I always forget that. That's really, thank you, yeah. Charmaine. That's so brilliant. You can just, you know, colour tint them. You can also do it with things like nail varnish. Oh, yes. You yeah. can do it with, um, you know, lots of different uh, mediums that we've got in our stash. So, I'm going to start with the Birdie Stamp the birdie stamp and the birdie stamp comes on a oh it comes on it comes on well, Maud and Tom let me grab the cover I don't you know you actually get names. you yeah. actually get more than what you see on the artwork so you've got your inspiration at the front there and as you can see you've actually get in an extra little um I think I called it a topiary tree. Yes, it is. It's like, like a heart-shaped topiary tree, and you yeah. can get that individually. As thank you for giving the names there, Charmaine, because I don't know any of the names, but there are the individually the stamps are ten ninety nine at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we've got, we're going to use the birdie off off of that one, and you've got in the collection. I think we have two different size birdies, so we're going to pop that one on. So it's just a, a wee little small um, element from there, and then I will use uh, memento ink and then I can use my alcohol pens on that. So we get the birdie stamp stamped. Here he is, or she, he or she. And do you have a preference of colour that I should use, Fiona? No, I love, I love, I love whatever you do, darling. Honestly, I don't mind at all. <laughs> bright, bright cheers me up. Bright cheers you up. So yes. let's, let's go vivid, bright yellow. Yay. Then. Yellow, oh, yeah. yellow and maybe a touch of orange. So I'm just going to spin spin him round a little bit and let's take him, take him out but I do want to stamp stamp more so move that over so we put the birdie on and then we'll go in with the bright yellow and we'll give his beak and um, the top of his head so we're giving it almost like an undercoat of colour so yeah. nice and easy no faffing around with shading just get him covered so tickle his tail there well, we're both in the yellow today. I'm more of a lime. You more you're your golden hue for you. Yeah, you're very very bright, but we don't wear these colours in the summer, do we? <laughs> 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 Them beasties outside land on us. So now I'm going to choose a orange. Oh yes, she says, and keep oh, actually bring that one back in again. So I'm going to choose an orange and just add a little touch of orange to um, his tail feathers. Shake your tail feathers, little dude. Here we go. So a little bit of colour there, and maybe his belly or his head. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go with belly, Charmaine. Here we go. So a little stroke of colour down there, nothing too fancy. You can go in with a lighter shade of orange and tone that colour down, but I'm going to stick with the two pens. And we will give that a little rub, and then we will add some little dots. So you've got a, a strong colour. Um, blending down there, going lighter and lighter, and then I will go back in to darken up the areas that I want dark, so it's nice, easy colouring. And at the moment, 
it usually looks very strange to start off with. So a little tickle putting that colour back in again down here. And then we will add the little dots. So little tiny dots in there. And then we'll go in and add some, um, what do we call them? Little white dots. So white gel pen. Mm -hmm. And just mix that up a little bit. Get that working. There we go. On there. He looks so cute. He looks gorgeous. So cute, so cute. So now what I want is a black pen. Can I splot? Splot? <laughs> Can I spot my black pen? That's, uh, oh, that one will do. That's not the one I wanted, but it's the one I've got. So I'm just going to give him long dangly legs. <laughs> so you can use a ruler if you want. So really long dangly legs there. Okay. So now I will take my stamp press and pop him back in or her pop that one back in and we will choose a border stamp so I'm going to use one out of uh, the frame set one yeah these are on the show I haven't had a chance to show these but I love these these we saw a lot in the sample so uh, we'll get these on the screen um, Forgive me for interrupting you, but you just because just you mentioned it, uh, Charmaine, if that's all right, you're getting four sets, and I, I absolutely love these. Um, four sets there, 41 stamps in total. They're called the Accessory Frames and Stamp Set there. The T Dolly Tops Funky Frames and Accessory Stamp Set. So this is the one that Charmaine's just using. You've got the crisscross there, you've got the numbers on the grid, you've got this long border there that she's using. Then you've got some lovely sentiments, some doodles there. I, I love this one with the sides and the backgrounds and that one that's almost like a thumbprint this one's beautiful it's used loads in the samples you can see here the sides and it how, how fantastic i just think there's such a great set and look at that saving 14 pounds saving for 41 stamps 29 pounds 96 542625 they're brilliant aren't they Charmaine? they are they're really really good worker yeah. stamps now i've double stamped it left a gap in the middle i know that you can see the oh. legs but he could be stood in the front there so yes. what I'm, I'm now deciding because i did it that way and not the other way i might give him a little diddy feet on there as well there little we go feet. so he's down there and he's, <laughs> he's in the front and then i remove that one and pop that one back and then place that there and if i remember rightly i have a mask for this one so i use the same frame mm -hmm. and what i will do is i'm going to give it a frame just i think i just actually i've got one pre pre-stamped and colored i think i'll add that to it later i was just debating yep gonna go with it I'm going to go with it. I can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Right, so pop that on. I've made a mask. So the first thing that I do when I get my stamps is I make masks um, out of them because one, it's a great way to test. You stamp to make sure everything's okay, fine mm. and dandy. So I just want to mask that off just a little bit. Gives you the positioning, doesn't it, of where you want it on your... Exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to take the same ink pad again. Or shall we go colour? Let's go colour. Let's go colour. So we've got orange and red going on. So let's chuck in some turquoise. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's zing it up. Um, so if I just aim for the the circles of the border, or well they're not circles, more like ovals, but aim for that. And then I use the magic digit and remove ink. Rubbing fingers so I don't stick it on my card. This is where I get my mucky prints and then hope and pray to the god of craftiness That I haven't <laughs> actually got the bit that I didn't really want, but if I have it doesn't matter too much Yes, I have so I will then go in I actually like making mistakes because it makes me make Something different than what I attended and gets your brain working So <laughs> It's not every day my brain gets working so we will carry on with that one and pop that down like so so we're just going to get the edges of that and there we go so move that off pop that back so that's from one stamp set so i've mixed in one of the borders and one of the stamp sets and now we have some lovely um clouds as well or shall we use splats oh use a splat i love a splat okay let's have a good splat sorry <laughs> so it's okay Not so intended. this is it you can mix them up and you can create ideas and you can literally just go and play so we'll take a couple of the little splats 
from um, Fred and Kane, because obviously these are the boys that like to jump in the puddles. Don't we all, though? It's, it's yeah, welly weather, isn't it? I was going to say I should it? have been a boy, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> There's something very liberated about trudging through the puddles, isn't it, in your wellies? Especially if you've got big wellies on. Yeah. yeah. You've got a Chris in them, haven't you? So we put those two splats there, and we will do them in the non-traditional colours. So we're going to have a pink and a purple splat and not go traditionally sort of blues and greys with splats. If they were supposed to be like water splats, they're just colour splats, and they're cheery. So picked up no I picked up turquoise what color did I say I was doing pink and pink and orange that's oh, yes, what we're going to do so we're going to add some pink and orange to that one pop that one down you don't see the orange that much so we will darken that up with a bit of purple instead so that's the advantage of using one of these stamp presses you can change it mix it up pop that one in so we've got those two going on there and then we will add a little touch of grass which comes out of the same um, stamp set with um, Fred and Kane so I'll pop some grass in there saves me drawing it out grab some green ink of course you could stamp in black and color in it's all your preference this would be just awesome to just go in and color but we have got one pre-coloured that I can show. So we've got a touch of grass going on there and we'll add a touch of colour to it. You could go in with your watercolour, just a little touch of colour down here. Just wants to be flicked. So it's like I'm using it as a guider mm. rather than the stamp was intended. So it's got a little bit going on there. They're looking cute so far. We could go in and we could colour these, but I quite like that as it is. So we move that one to one side, pop that one back, make sure that stamp is sat correct. And now I would like to get one of my trees or two. Now these I've already cut out and coloured. So I could go in with the big trees, but I don't want to go in with the big trees. I want to use, I've decided I want to use flowers instead. So the flowers come off of set da de da Because <laughs> you can get them all individually. Who's it, what's it, it's the one with Eve and the big hair. Yes. It's Eve. the one with Eve. Eve. Uh, Belinda and Eve have Belinda the flowers and Eve. in here. Thank you. Go. I can grab, I can reach, and I can't pick up the one that I really want. Get out of the pot. I've broke my finger now, so it's a bit of a double so there they are uh, so you do actually get two sizes there's one here and then there's another one positioned just above the doggy there yeah a little one the yeah. dog would look cool on here so i'm going to pop these two on here one there and I, because i've die cutted it so i've stamped and colored in popped it through my die cut i can yeah. have it coming off the page yeah. which then just mixes that page up a little bit yeah. as an extra element so i'm just going to pop some glue on if you want to do a recap yes thank you very much so the complete collection with the dies uh, that Charmaine was just referring to is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, uh, but we are talking about the one day special, which are the stamps that uh, Charmaine is using. 48 stamps in total and 48 dies to correspond. Uh, taking all those savings as well. We've got that on three flexi by payments for you, 892-985. And um, that can be spread across January, February and March. So um, beautiful, the funky, uh, the lovely uh, Dolly Tots there collection. Absolutely gorgeous. And so many beautiful samples here on the show using these yeah, the gorgeous uh, Anne Marie's cards here. Um, I've got boxes. We've got those cheeky boys with a rocket. Uh, we've got Eve here and a funky hair. Um, some lovely little cards. Sam's card there as well. Absolutely beautiful. We've got Sam's card there with the tags just popped out. Isn't that lovely? Um, around the little notes. You know, if you're thinking of your journaling as well, just great for those pages, those journal pages or um, some, some lovely cards that you might be sending or just on the front of a, a very ordinary, it can transform a very ordinary notebook, can't it? And then there was that lovely sample from Anne-Marie of the book itself. And in there you see those papers we were talking about as well, the Dolly Dimples. Um, some fabulous inserts here in, in this uh, gorgeous, gorgeous book using all of those fabulous stamps. There's that birdie. Aren't they beautiful? It's fantastic. Now the complete collection, nearly a third of the stock has gone. 892985. If you just want the stamps on their own, that's uh, um, also on two Flexi by payments. You've got a £20.99 £20 of uh, freedom discount on that one. It's huge. Now, you have got them individually. This is why the, I was struggling with the names. Uh, you do get that second flower on that one as well. So this one's called 
Belinda and Eve. I think I call call in, keep calling her Eve. Uh, we've got Casey and Mia. Sorry, Katie and Mia. Bella, Bella and Juliet there. That's that one with the tree. Maud and Tom with the birdie. Uh, Fred and Kane, the cheeky boys with the splats. And then we've got toys as well. Accessories number one. I love these accessories. Well, accessories are in a set of four as well. Accessories number two. The frames number one. And then frames number two, which Charmaine was using. They're all 10 99 each, 958171. Can I just say on those frames and accessory ones, uh, as a set of four, they're like 29, was it 98 or 99? There's a 40, yeah, 29, 96. There's a 14 pound saving on those, just to flag that up. I know you can get them individually, but the money's in the savings for me. Um, what was I going to mention? Oh, yes, the happy hour deal. It's right here in front of me, Fiona. Uh, eight. You are getting eight sheets because um, Charmaine very kindly showed you the long border ones as well. I've just got five of them here in my hand. You've got um, some flowers. You've got the uh, half a centimetre rounds. You've got some that are covered with the Aurora sort of Borealis and um, some that are rainbow as well. You are getting um, eight sheets of those. And you're also getting, uh, in including those long borders, sorry, I'm dropping them all over the floor, uh, 10 button sets. I know they're all individual and different. Eight pieces, six pieces. Uh, another eight. So you get 10 packs of the lovely, lovely buttons, which I haven't got enough fingers and thumbs to hold for you. I know. All of that for £9.99. Um, £5 savings, 774796. That is a happy hour deal until nine o'clock. Do shop ahead for those papers and uh, obviously the lovely stencils. I'm mad about the stencils, but let's go back to our Charmaine and that lovely card. Okay, I found the one that I'd actually coloured in, so I've just positioned it over the top there and we could carry on coming down. And I think that's enough for a little card, so if we fold it over, so just threw some watercolour on that top there, um, but just gives you a visual of that. So shall we do another one? Yes, please, yeah. Okay. So we'll move that to one side. So we will just have a sheet of mixed media card. Here we go. There we go. So I folded one in half. I haven't used my bone folder because it seems to have just vanished. There it is. Okay, so just give that crease. I'm using the mixed media card and I'm going to use one of the stencils. Yay, which one? We will use the roses, I Ooh. think. And the roses comes as a three set. So let's yep. just get that one out. And that's set number three. And that's uh, with the maze and the cosmic. And then we've got my favourite, and I'm not supposed to be biased, Charmaine, but screw heads and seals, dots and dashes and shards. I love that yeah, set. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, they're all brilliant, to be honest. So I'm uh... going to use candied apple. Sorry to interrupt, my dear. And a lot of the time I don't do a full sheet. I only do a partial sheet, but I'm actually mm. going to do a full sheet. But I have got one that i already done. And I will use... Just, ooh. Here we go. So, Ready? Steady, go. Now, of course, when you get yours, it won't be red like this. It's just Charmaine's very lazy at cleaning her stencils. So get that done. So we rub on like this. And then you, if you keep your hand on, you could put tape around it and keep it in position. But if you just keep your hand in position there, you mm. can flick and reveal. And I like to do it where I... I'll be heavier in areas and lighter in other areas and then it gives you some kind of shading without the effect. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then you yeah. can place it back down and carry on. Well, we won't because I've got one already done. So I started this one. I've used lighter colour. So I think with this one, it would probably the one that we call pick, picked or pickled, pick, 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 pickled raspberry, picked raspberry. Pick a pick a pick pick raspberry. <laughs> so we've used that one, and then I've gone in with a um, a pen and done little dots on it. So where are you? You're in there. So we've added little tiny dots. So we put little tiny dots, following it round the edge of the actual um, flower itself. Yes. Yeah. So I could carry on for hours and hours doing this and drifting off into a world of my own. So I've just space, space that out and we've done little dots. Now I have actually, this is going to be what I call an Australian card. 
so we pretend that it's not really it's going to be upside down because I want the dots to be at the top because I'm going to put something extra on here so we're going to build a scene now does that make sense yes but we'll yeah. still have a little bit in the background so I'm not going to do the work on the dots to cover it up because that takes too long but I can go in afterwards so then we're going to play with some bits that are already cut and prepared that I did earlier so that border that I used on the other one where did I put it I just popped it to one side I lost it twice maybe I'm not meant to use it um, what I've done is I've stamped it twice so if I bring that one in you can see exactly what I've done so I've stamped it twice and colored it in can you see that I've used this section here yes and yeah. again and then I've put a double sided tape so you can see where the join is there on the back mm -hmm. and I have another one so I did exactly the same thing again so this could be if we were trimming the card mm -hmm. down if you want like things that are symmetrical this could be a really vivid border for a card which then means I would just trim off down there shall we run with that make it symmetrical I don't often yes. do symmetrical but no, let's do it. it just changes the frame up just slightly yeah. okay so we'll peel that off with the double-sided tape there. Oh, I'm amazed that actually did. It's been on for a couple of days waiting for my spell. Smashing. Everybody's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. It's okay. I've had a collapsation. Can I just say, can I have the camera on me? Because it wasn't me. <laughs> Everything's still okay. Just, just so you know. <laughs> Charlie knows what I'm like. But why does she want the camera yeah, on Yeah, because it wasn't me. <laughs> Brilliant. I can understand that now. Uh, I'm the world's clumsiest person. Well, I'm not clumsy normally, but I only have to breathe next to the stencils and the stamps and everything falls down like, a, you know, oh. like dominoes. You spend ages setting it all up and displaying well, poor, it all poor pretty. Well, managers and then, do. And then, yeah, all of a sudden, boom. destructive fee comes in. <laughs> but fortunately this time it wasn't me <laughs> so we've uh, mixed it up a little bit you've got your pretty 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 you've got your pretty flowers in the background with the dots we've gone crazy and wild and we've gone vivid colors down the sides and we've got this extra excess on the bottom so all I'm going to do is spin that around doing some spinning spinning and then I'm going to take my ruler Place it on there, get off my bottom because it's much easier to cut. Make sure I'm using the craft knife the right way around. So the whole show doing it upside down. Oh, oh, the whole show, and I'm cutting and cutting and cutting that way around. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying I need a new blade, need a new blade. <laughs> And they actually replayed it and checked to see what was going on. And I think they'd figured it out. And they said, she's been using it upside down, Dorsey Burke. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say Dorsey Burke, but, you know, in my head, I would have done. Oh, bless. <laughs> so, yeah, when I'm doing work with a knife, I usually would um, trim off. Now I'm seeing this. So if it was, if it was this way round, mm. we would then, in fact, I know what we could do. We could trim it off because I've done it wrong. But if it was this way round... We would then um, take a pair of scissors, which are there. You know, I need one of those James Bond sets where my things just come to me. So <laughs> we can then make a decorative shape by following the edge of the border. Oh, yes. Lovely. And it's nice and easy to do because it's almost like you're using it as a stencil because this is slightly raised off. Mm. Raised up. Raised up. <laughs> there we go. Do you want to do a recap while is, I cut this? Is it all right if I just um, yeah. update this the happy hour deal, just because uh, that's only available till nine. Uh, Sixty percent has now gone. You're getting ten packs of those lovely, lovely buttons, badly displayed here in my hand. There we go. Ten packs there. There's loads, loads of different shapes, flowers, flowers on the buttons. You've got some with eight, some with six. They're really beautiful, little wooden buttons there. They're, they're so pretty. Uh, and then you're also getting uh, uh, eight of the uh, gem sheets, yes. Now there's a few in here that I haven't got, but you've got things like the flowers there. Uh, you've got your graduating uh, with the Aurora Borealis on there. You can see that sort of rainbow color. You've got your, uh, there we go as well, on the half millimeter rounds. Uh, the white and the rounds, and then I think it's a smaller one, like four millimeter. We also get some really long ones with the pearls as well that Charmaine was showing us. Uh, here it is on the still. So you're getting a five pound saving on that, 9.99. Lots of you going for that. Two thirds of the stock has gone there. 774.796. Please don't miss out because you can see the time ticking uh, while that is still available. Right. Thank you, Charmaine.
problem. So, no, it hasn't taken me that long to uh, trim it. I just decided that I'm going to do it properly because I goofed up and uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I've trimmed the other side. It just started to annoy me. So I've trimmed the other side and what I would do is I would mount it on, onto another card. So I'm going to take a sheet of my black. So this is on the show. This is a 250 GSM black card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my bone folder that keeps vanishing because it's a neutral colour. There we go. And score that one. So when you've now got a new card, the back side will do for another card. And that is going to mat and layer on there like so and we'll trim off this little bit at the bottom yeah. but I won't do that right now so let's get some little people going so mm -hmm. we have Eve now she's been stamped and coloured in and then die cut so she's got that lovely little border so then I can give that dimension if I can spot the foam pads so the die cuts give the little white border like they give so, a little white they, border um, yeah. yeah one of the things that i do like is the fact that i can do it with a little black border oh, um, yes. by say for example if i'd cut one out like this uh-huh on the die cut machine and i'd fussy cut one i can place it on the top ah, of it yes. like like so does that make sense it does yeah and then when i'm using this which is the other way around does it Joe's daughter. When I'm using it like this, mm. which I will do, so will we use her? So that sounds awful. We're not going to use her. We are going to play with her. That's better. There we go. So she's going to come to the party. We just mm -hmm. pot a little bit of glue on her feet, is there, which will ooze out. So we'll pop it on the bit where we're going to stick it so we get rid of the excess. That's cool. And we'll pop her down. So there's Maud. Doesn't she look sweet? Mm -hmm. And she will be an element. Who's she? Maud will be an element that is popping out the side. So we will have one going here, one just popping off the edge of the page. Does this make sense? Yeah. So I will just pop a little bit of glue that I've just put away. Why? I do not know. Now on the dies the and uh, the stamps are at the bottom of the screen. If you want a complete collection there, we've got that on three flexi by payments, 892-985. And if you just want the stamps, the one day special on its own, £49.94. We've also got that on two FlexiBuy payments. But if you're a Freedom Club member, that is £20.96 pence savings. So it's a bit of a why not deal. Spend, spend that little bit extra to, to save more, if that makes sense. 095604. You can get all the stamp sets individually, of course. They're £10.98 each. And don't forget, we've got the lovely stencils and the papers as well if you want to shop ahead. Just depends on your budget, doesn't well, it? Well, exactly. It's nice I, to have the mix there. So it is. there's something for everybody. And if there? somebody bought them before and only got part of the collection, yes. now they may have a uh, little bit extra cash to add to the collection. So uh, there we go. We like to do that. And those won't be that price on my website. Oh, um, right. The special price is always exclusive to Achanda. So we turn that around. We can trim off the bottom, which I wasn't going to do, but I am now, sorry. And... We will get rid of that, and I should have stood up, but I didn't. There we go, get that. So, check, yes. <laughs> that mm. would annoy me. So she can just pop off now, which is a pop off, which would give it just a little element to it. Yeah. Of course, if you'd have trimmed that, we could have had it coming further in as well, and we could have had some backing paper on the outside. So I'm going to just pop some glue on these elements. If you want to do a recap, yeah. um, that okay, would be darling. cool. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, Charmaine. So the one-day special, it comprises of 48 stamps. And uh, what was the name of the lady who's, is it, who's designed? Anne-Marie. Anne it is Anne-Marie. Yeah, fantastic stamp. And you can see how, you know, the interplay of the, the little hats or the crowns can be across all the stamps there. The doggy in the ball, you've got splats, you've got cane there, the naughty boys uh, jumping in the puddles there. Um, you've got the rockets, the accessory, and the, and the little footprints, as Charmaine was saying, you know, that in itself could be a baby card. Um, there's, there's loads in there to tell a story. If you look at these fantastic samples, they're so versatile. Absolutely beautiful. Now, each of those stamp sets have their individual names. They're on the website. They're £10.98 each. You get a £20.99 pence saving uh, if you are a Freedom Club member. So that's two flexi by payments of £22.48. 0.95604. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I've got another sample here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And again, on the, on the dark navy there as well. Isn't that beautiful? A whole family full there. And again, this is using some of those accessory frame stamps as well. 
Um, the birdie there, oh, I love that. Uh, gorgeous, and just the way, almost like in a similar way in which uh, Charmaine elongated that part of a stamp. That's, uh, that's been uh, d tripled over three times. You've got the rocket there. That's on a little spring taking off. Isn't that brilliant? And we've got these lovely papers as well on the show as well. There's the trees. And they've been used as, you know, tabs to... I love the windows. So versatile, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, to-do lists. This is what's perfect about those if you do your journaling as well. We've got these accessory stamps as well on the show. Really, really beautiful. Ah, oh, I adore these samples. Um, yeah, so... 095604 for the one day special or there you have it um, if you want the corresponding dies which Charmaine was telling us about I love the idea of cutting that out and then fussy cutting her and put it on the black or you can add that white outline or if you don't want the outline just just trim down even further but you've got those dies 48 dies to correspond with your 48 stamps there three flexi by payments of 31 pounds 63 pence 892985 and uh, we have got those accessory set. I will say, I keep going on about it, but they're 20 pounds, 29 pounds 96. You're saving, how much was it you're saving again? 14 pounds, I know. I know you can get them individually, but they're gorgeous. Please don't miss out, so have a little look. Let's get some more inspiration. I'm here with the papers and looking at, look at these. These are just, I was just saying, I love these samples. I love them, I do. Look at these, they're fantastic. Oh, look at these papers, that, yeah. Just stamping them over and over again in the black and white. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, just sometimes simple is the way forward, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's just fantastic, Charmaine. I, I love them, love them. So these are the papers, Dolly Dipper papers. You get 15 of each. Yeah. And two, um, sorry, no, you don't. You get. Yes, yeah, so you get 15 designs, designs yeah. and two of each, so yeah. you get 30. So if you're doing like books or double pagey spreads, you've got enough there That's to do it. But there's some awesome borders in there. And I've fussy cut there? some of those little little tops that are in there. They're the actual characters, obviously, so you can tell that they mix and match as well. And I love your typescript because you've got that on the black mm -hmm. and, 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 and the white. The white. Yeah. So we've got that choice there. So things like make your heart uh, women small enough butterflies caterpillar floral sleeping deserve blooming there's all sorts on there they're just great to fussy cut out and use and then you've got a colorful background there as well not to detract from that uh, it's all part of the design so 15 designs you get two of each absolutely fantastic i love these i just love their their vibrancy i love their energy i love the colorways everyone's a corker and uh, the fact that you've got such a vast selection there is, is is brilliant. I think they're absolutely beautiful borders. You know, you could fussy cut those individually. Is that fantastic? Fourteen ninety nine two four six nine four zero. Half the stock has gone. Nine pounds saving on those. Fantastic. That one's ready to go, isn't it? That front one, if you don't want to be stamping and layering up. Gorgeous. Now, we've also got the templates on the show. I mentioned this a couple of times when I've been shown a couple of cards. Um, here's, let me just grab it again. Um, 999-287404. You've got a five pound saving. Oh gosh, wow. And we're getting all four. Yeah, well have you no actually idea. get you actually get five. So the five. one that the oh, one that you've right. got there, there is a sample for that this one. one. Yes, yeah, so that, that's that extra that one. one as well. Yeah. You get five. So that. could we reuse the template just over and over yeah. and over again? So basically, you're going to cut the template out, do what it says on the instructions, yeah. uh, draw around it and whatever card you want to use and make it up as many times as you want. So you use the card as a, tem a template. You can actually laminate them if you, if you feel free, but they're done on a 200 GSM. 
um, so they're quite sturdy. That's the one that I made at 8 o'clock. Well, I think I started it at the 6 o'clock and finished it at the 8 o'clock one. So um, forgive me, Charmaine, you said there's five. This is this one. So that's, yeah, so you get, four, that you, get one. Four, you get four templates. That's that one. That's correct. So you get four one? templates, but the yeah. one down at the bottom, you can see that there's two cards in that one. Oh, I see. Yeah, so there's two different style cards. Ah, I yeah, think so that four, might... Yes, four sets and five different templates gotcha. but you can switch them up and do different things with them as well fantastic 999287404 got those lovely stencils as well shards dots and dashes screw heads the roses uh, swirls uh, crisp intertwining circles they're all on the website oh there they are thank you uh, maze rose and cosmic and then they have a favourite next to it. And then it's twin circle cells and seeds. Got that gorgeous black card as well, 250 GSM. Dolly Dimples mixed media card as well. There's your papers, there's your templates. And all the stamps are on there as well, as well as individually. Now, those dies you can only get in the complete collection, just to flag that up. Right, let's go back to Charmaine. Okay, so what have I been doing? <laughs> huh. Right, I, I found my silicon glue and I found my foam pads after I found rooted from my silicon glue. So we've got Eve, we've got Maud, we've popped the little doggy on there as well, and we've got a little cloud as well. And what I love mm -hmm. about the cloud is it's got a tiny little delicate border which you can go in and colour up. Aww. So I've just got a couple of shades of blue on there. Mm -hmm. I've added a crown and I fussy cutted the crown, opposed to actually die cutting it. I've uh, fussy cut the birdie as well. So the same birdie that we did in the previous card but I've done that one in blue so I've just used two shades of blue and added blue and white spots so I've done it exactly the same sort of way Lovely. different color ways and she's got a little boo boo <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's got a little birdie that's obviously called boo <laughs> so Ooh, on her hair. lovely little crown I've added some of the Aurora Bollianis um, gems there is it the Aurora Bollianis it's gems? It's got the rainbow on the surface yeah, yeah that's why I and I've anyway. added those just to the top of the crown there just to jazz that up and yeah. uh, I think that's okay. So I could actually go around the edge of there and cut that out as well. I could add some nice papers inside mm. and you'd see a little glimpse of them. But I think that's an, enough. I, I could add gorgeous. some more little dots to tie in with the background as well it's if beautiful. I wanted. So that's that's where I've got with that. Shall we do another one? Oh, yes, please. Yes, okay. whatever you can rustle up. Rustle up. So um, let's go with the template. Lovely. Now, don't forget your half hour deal. Ten minutes remaining, or maybe a bit more for you, but for us live. Uh, so that's all of those eight sheets of the lovely gem stickers, the Aurora Borealis ones um, Charmaine was referring to. And then you are getting um, eight sheets of those and ten of those beautiful, pretty wooden buttons. Some of them have eight in, some of them have six in, but all lovely different shapes and sizes. So don't miss out. 999-774-796. That's going to end at nine o'clock. Right, I haven't, I can't spot my template, um, um, so I'm going to guesstimate of where it is. Mm, maybe I'll do another one because I can't spot the template and I, I, don't, I haven't marked where the score lines are. So, yeah, okay. if you can, I, but I'm, I'll jump to one of these ones instead. I don't know what jumping business is about. <laughs> right, I shall do that one next if I... So the other template you get in it, there's two pieces, there's a matte and lead piece and there's obviously, and there's a back piece, so there's, sorry, there's three pieces. You have a front, this is the front. Now when cutting these out, this is the back and you can see there's a score line there, so I've drawn that on so you can see, I've cut it out, and this is the flat, flat edge, so this is the back. This piece gets glued to this piece where the score line is. So I do need my scoreboard. Da, da, da. She is so organised, not. Right, line that one up there. So you would just draw on, I mean, I'm happy to draw all the way across because we're going to glue it. So it's basically from this notch to this notch. This is what's going to be the connector bit to the two pieces. So you can do all our templates out of A4. So we move that to one side. That is the only score for this one. Oh, I hope I've kept it in the same position. So this is my tip with these. When you're um, cutting them out, Check them before you start working on them because this is the back, this is the front, but if you t start to turn around with the way you've cut them out, they won't line up. Oh. So you want them to line up correctly. Right. And um, only by accident, I started decorating one up and I had a kind of an upside down one and I had to recut and jig. <laughs> but there's always ways to create, 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 uh, Fix things. There we yeah. go, simple words. Uh, always ways to fix things. So we get that 
in position like so. So you could decorate with your lovely papers if you want. And we're going to pop that one on top. So I'm going to do a fast matting and layer. Okay. Pick a colour, any colour. Red. Okay, red we go for. So I'm going to take red pen. Just popped in red. Okay. And all I'm going to do is take the fat end and draw around the outside edge. So yes, I could have used my papers, but by the time I get them out and put them on, we'll have run out of time. So I'm going to use my pen, draw around the outside edge. So this is the same um, style template as I've used um, Tom. And the card that I did, that's down, down the bottom end there, um, is, I did that on Crafting Together with All Brands. And the viewers that were in there as a live, actually said what they wanted me to use mm -hmm. and as well I have no idea what I'm going to use because I haven't planned because I was filling in for somebody else and what do you want me to use so they told me what they wanted me to use told me what colors to do what to mix in what mediums they said oh use some crackle paste out came the stencils and it's totally crafting together everybody mixing ideas bouncing yeah. ideas off of each other which you know is what we used to do in the classes really yes, exactly. um, so it's great that the crafters do that and we all like pull together so then we get this and we line Ooh, it up lovely. like so so it's always handy to write a little t on the top or a little arrow so then you know that it'll line up properly then I will carefully flip over <laughs> <laughs> now my happy hour deal is limited just to flag that up it's on the screen right now but uh, we'll bring that up it, uh, it will be uh, yeah it is limited just to flag that up and may it may disappear before the end of the hour yeah so please 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 don't miss out it, it comprises of those eight sheets of the lovely gems and then those ten sheets of the fantastic buttons, wooden buttons there as well, all on the website there. Great value, 999 774 796. Now, in my uh, Dolly Dimples Crafts group, yeah. I have to give them the heads up of the happy hours. Yeah. Otherwise, they come in there and go, I missed it. Oh, Why didn't you tell them? That? So you... And it's gone back up to full price. And we always want a bag inside of the Yeah, of course. We all, we're all the same. <laughs> we love a saving. But the, you know, the for that hour. <laughs> So I give, I give them a heads up first. So. so have you converted to Zoom to do that now? Have you? Uh, oh, I made? don't do no fancy technology. No. <laughs> You're looking at can actually together. Just, I mean, I can just about manage um, Facebook Live. Oh, Facebook Live. <laughs> this is good. That's the same thing. Difference, isn't it? It's transmission. Transmission, isn't oh, it? Oh no, I have to repeat on the computer. There's certain certain programs and certain things I can do on the computer, but I literally speak to myself, speak it out loud as I'm doing it. Especially if somebody's walking into the room and going to distract me and it's the only way it sinks in my tiny little brain I have to repeatedly <laughs> do things process technology and may just don't go well right okay what we're going to use we're going to try and do something fast so let's use some of the backgrounds here we go let's use I didn't use you yesterday so we we'll use you today that sounds awful doesn't that <laughs> you weren't you. used yesterday, I'm going to use, use you. you today. Especially if it was a little character. <laughs> so I'll get my pants that way around. Right, okay, let's get some colours going. So let's try and go quick. So we will have some inks, and I'll have the ink police shouting at me for leaving my lids off. <laughs> but She's speed crafting, though. She's no, speed crafting. I'm speed crafting, yeah. So we'll get some inks going. Loving these colours. Let's go crazy. Here we go. Right. We are going to start with orange. I much prefer to do it the other way around. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the inks of um, the ink pads are much, much better than what they used to be many, many years ago. Yeah. Um, they were all squishy pads, so these are nice and firm. So yeah. I'm going in with the spice marmalade here. Mm. Just nice and vibrant. I'm going to add it down at the bottom. This is the same sort of thing as what I would do with uh, my stencils as well. So if, if we have time, we're going to meet almost in the middle. There we go. Is that from your frames and accessories or is that from... That uh, is from the accessory set one, Dolly Tots accessory set lovely. one. So I can bring the picture in, you can see. So yeah, you, get, thank you get all these lovely accessories there. I love those. We're going to take that one yeah. back and pop that one there. And then we're going to start with um, the little lines. I love this one. It's um, I like them all. That's just wrong of me to say. I love this one. I love them. I love them all. They're great though, But you know they? when you use certain ones yes. repeatedly. So come on, oh, your oh, mucky fingers. So 
because I've gone down in this way, now I want to bring something in in this direction as well. So I'm going to take these lines. We're with each other at 12 as well. If there's any finished, you know, if, there's, if we don't get any to the finishing, end anyway. yeah, I've yeah. been doing a lot of that, not finishing. <laughs> so pop that on there and then I'm going to mix it up by going into the pink and just overlap that slightly as I can Ooh. which then kind of changes that stamp up a little bit yeah so we get that one in because I've got it here I want something sneaking in over here there's got to be a bit of sneakiness going on in my crafting so we go in with those two and overlay them as well making a little bunch of something going on there there's lots of people when you start doing this thing what the heck where's she going where's she coming from with this it's just a background so it's a basic background to start off with and then going to mix in with the dolly tots accessory set too so if I bring that one in you can see the pretty pictures there we go, we like pretty pictures and inspiration. So, of course, you can ink and stamp these in whatever colours you choose. So, we're going to go in with uh, pink to start off with. I'm going to go crazy on there. And then I'm going to add some uh, blue just around the edges. So, we've got a mixture of colours going on. And then I'm going to overlay and do that ghost shadowing or oh, um, secondary yeah. narration if you... I'll let's like, sneak in a little third one as well. Why not? Yes, yeah, subtle in the background. We do exactly the same again. Isn't that lovely in cheer? Beautiful. It is a real that cheery That corresponds one. with your lovely papers, that stamp, doesn't it? You've got yeah, your papers. They, yeah, they're all designed to cor correspond yeah. with each other. So, again, it's, uh, there's a lot of Anne Marie's artwork on the papers and just a little bit of jiggery pokery from me. So, I'm pressing on the edge here. I've still got the ink on the other side and bringing that down the bottom there. And then with the second generation, hit it up the top there. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. Oh, all right, my darling. It's all this, this is constantly when we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, chitty chat, chitty chat. We need lots and lots of water. So, we've got that there. I think, keep smiling. Yeah. Um, do you want to repeat that? Mm, do, do. Keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. Spot the words. Keep. Keep smiling. Keep, keep smiling. smiling. Make sure you don't put them on back to front. So you, <laughs> you want to be able to turn it the other way around. So keep is there. It's like you put them on backwards. And smiling is, we're going to go just underneath because I know I'm on speed crafting and I'll go wonky donkey. So we'll do a wonky donkey on purpose. So no I can way. read it that way. Yeah. First time I ever did that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> went to um, Pete Tong, definitely. <laughs> well, so listen, we, we can always if, uh, see this as well at the end, obviously, and catch up at the beginning of 12 o'clock when Charmaine will be back with us. Don't forget to check out your baskets. This is from the accessory stamp set, £29.96, £14 saving, 542625. Thank you, Charmaine. Thank uh, I know you, you want to add to it. that. but <laughs> yeah, right. to it, but... <laughs> We'll see that at 12 then, shall we? Should we start the show yeah. at 12 with that? Yeah, lovely. Uh, yeah, don't forget to check out your baskets, especially with that happy hour deal. There's only a few minutes remaining, if there's any left, because it was uh, getting limited there. And uh, let's see what else is coming up this morning on her channel. Oh, we've got jewellery box next. We've got some lovely jewellery making, some lovely hedgehog brooches. Um, yeah, and then we've got Sewing with Olive Road London and then Paper Craft Society. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself to Leon Hajanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels, then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Welcome back. Well, I don't know if you are aware, but a regular slot on our Saturday mornings at nine o'clock is our jewellery box slot. And it gives us an opportunity to learn all sorts of fabulous techniques from many of our wonderful guests. And this week, it's a lovely turn of Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Hayley. I'm really good, thank you. Are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very much looking forward to this hour. Now, the, the, obviously, we have a variety of different companies come and join us on a Saturday yes. morning. So some people may have only just come across um, jewellery box and just met you. So so tell us a little bit about you and how you come to be here. Okay, well, um, I'm based in my home studio in a little town called Royal Button Bassett. Um, so my, I do a lot of Facebook Lives as well that people can join oh, me okay, on. I do yes. every Thursday at 6. I do a new tutorial. Um, so my primary thing sort of before... Um, everything happened was teaching one-to-one -one. Oh, okay but I also do it online and I Fabulous. do summer school at Marlborough so how do we find you um, via social media what do we look for so if you look for beads by the chill lovely um, I've got a Facebook page and a Facebook group mm -hmm. and it's the group I do all the demos but there's a button at the top of my page that will take you we straight into you. that. We will track That's you down. That's the quickest way of doing yeah. it. Now the chill, this is an unusual word and I remember us chatting about this the yes. first time that we worked together but explain to our viewers what the chill is all about. So the chill is the name of an angel which is the month of July which happens to be um, my birth month and I just loved what she stood for, is that she stood for having a generous heart and primarily taking time out for yourself yes, yeah. and relaxing. And that's, it, for me, it just fit in really nicely is the fact that, yeah, this is all about 
taking time out for yourself and actually getting creative. Well, this is it. And jewellery is kind of one of those things that quite often you'll take time for yourself because it's a very personal thing, but also it's something that's lovely to give as a gift because you've kind of got the memory attached to it. I remember me and my mum going to a silver workshop and both making similar um, rings, which we've both got. And it's kind of that memory building that you, you create. It as well. is. It, it's total sentimentality. and. And I think particularly when you're a crafter as well, I'm not saying other people don't appreciate it, but I think as a crafter, you always understand the amount of love Certainly and do. hours that's gone into the gift yeah. that's been made. Very much so. And it just makes it that extra bit special. And hopefully today I can show people how they can put their own twist and spin on so I can give them the tools to make it and then they can put some I other twists that. on it as well. And twists being the operative word, really, because we're looking at a lot of wire work in this. We hour. are. So <laughs> if you are familiar with wire work, then you'll know there's lots of twists involved with this. And we've got a fabulous selection to share with you, so you might want to jump ahead and have a little look, or you might like to feast your eyes on this first selection that we've got here. Now, this one um, is kind of choices. It depends on the colour options that you're wanting to go for these, but within each of these, you will have the ability to make two rings. You've got enough beads in there. You've got one that's going to be silver, a plate and one that's going to be your rose gold plated and again it's just down to your personal preference with regards to your color options so there's loads here you can see lots of names that we're familiar with things like a smoky quartz they're familiar names yes so they're all they're all gemstone rings um, they're four millimeter size beads so they're they're still nice and delicate so I think you've got your rose gold and your amethyst that's a combination that we've just passed beautiful the blue one is on screen now is turquoise howlite lovely vibrant color um, and then I'm just trying to think we've got the blue so delight so I think regardless of the color yes um, you've got there's something for everyone and also with gemstones, some people like the meaning um, properties behind the gemstones. And these are adjustable as well, which really means that if you're, for example, making them to sell or you're making them for a gift, the good thing is that they can adjust it to fit the ring size. They so can. you can make it to the ring size, but there's that bit of give in it without it going out of shape. Well this is it and you'll be able to see that with the actual rings themselves. They've almost got a little bit of springability to them if there is such a word there which means that you can kind of mould them to whatever size with a little bit of give as you said. I mean obviously you can't take it from a, uh, a size that's going to fit from on your little finger right the way through maybe a thumb ring but this you have is obviously it. got the ability that you've got that little bit of tweak with regards to the size. So it's all about choices with regards to your colour. So the first one that we were looking at there, I forgot what colour it was, I picked up the soda light there with that gorgeous blue. If you're liking your earthy tones and maybe this smoky quartz is going to be the one that you're going to choose um, and it's a gorgeous one because when you actually look within that um, smoky quartz you've almost got loads of different hidden colours in there so sometimes it can be quite a, um, quite a, a clear colour sometimes it's quite deep tone with yes. regards to those as well. Beautiful. It's, it's sort of um, it's very autumnal sort of yes. the, the browns and chestnuts that are about mm. at the moment that sort of wintry feeling it's a nice colour. Yeah. Gorgeous. So that one is your smoky quartz. Next one, if you're looking ahead to springtime, then maybe you're going to be looking down the route of this gorgeous. I love this one. You've got a combination with this one. So you've got your gorgeous rose quartz and your amethyst. So those gorgeous purples. Isn't that good? In the rose gold, I mean, that's absolutely good. That is our Charlotte to a T. <laughs> who's producing today. She loves her rose she gold. Um, of course, Amethyst, um, we're talking February with regards to birthstones right. as well, aren't we? Yeah, so it could be that they're making that for somebody, perhaps for a birthday gift. Absolutely fabulous, as you can see there. Um, and then you can see absolutely beautiful there with regards to those. Those are your um, Amethyst and your rose gold. I suppose with those ones, if you're making two rings, you could use all of the Amethyst in one if you wanted to and all the rose Absolutely, um, in the other. you could have two different gemstone mm. rings. The other thing I thought with this kit as well is, you know, there's lots of platforms, for example, I hope it's all right to mention um, Zoom. No, you can't. No. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> the screen um, nearly went black then. They nearly took us off. Oh. <laughs> um, is perhaps if you've got um, a friend that you normally bead with. Yes. Yeah. or perhaps you're looking at a new project to do mm, good idea. is that perhaps you could send your friend one pack yes you could have keep one they could have the other and you could show them from the um, kit that you've got you can do it together online 
Um, so, you know, that's another way of bringing yourselves together nice in the idea. craft world. And there's loads of different ways you can get in touch, isn't it? Lots of us are doing it with our families, with those kind of video calls and things like that. So that's a really good idea. Last option that we've got. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you that one. That, I, I was just being very selfish and like just absorbing that on myself. This one is your hematite. I think that is that the right pronunciation? It is, is yes. Um, and I like this one because you've almost got that gorgeous, it's almost like a gunmetal look to mm. it. Beautiful. I do like that one. Next one is going to be a beautiful one. Again, for spring through to summer, absolutely gorgeous with the turquoise. Now, there's nothing stopping you teaming up a couple of these. So I'm thinking the soda light with that blue would work really, really well with that turquoise. So if you do decide to go for a couple of these sets, you can interchange those if you want to. And at $12.99, I can understand many of you wanting to do that. Now, you're going to make two rings. As I say, one in the silver tone, one in that rose gold tone, and it's just down to choice with regards to those beads. They're all on the website there, so have a little look. You'll be able to have a look at them up close and personal. Details there on your screen for those. Now, the next set that we've got for you, this is a fabulous way for you kind of experiencing your um, wire wrapping techniques. Now, these are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Made simply from wire. And what we, this is a thing that I cannot get my head around. With this kit, we're going to be able to make how many of these? Two of these So you again. can make two wow. again. With just that small amount of wire. Wow, and that's it's, amazing. It's wonderful the fact that you can just create something beautiful um, that's re nature related. Gorgeous. Um, out, of, out of wire. And you can sit and, and do it to your heart's content. And they actually Gorgeous. don't take very long as well. So with both of the ring projects, once you've established the basic concepts of them, they're very quick to do. Aren't they gorgeous? Again, you've got colour options with regards to this. So we're looking at the silver tone there. This one, if you wanted to go down that gorgeous rose gold, that is one of your options. And if you do prefer the traditional gold colour, then we have got those ones available for you as well. It's all personal choice, but all under that same item number. So £12.95 pence is your price there. 101480. You can be able to make a couple of these. Again, if you want to get a couple of these, because we can't to mix up colours with these potentially? I mean, can you check colour change during the wire work? Yes, absolutely. So you could, for example, have um, a gold base wire. Mm -hmm. You could wire wrap with the rose gold. Lovely. So you could definitely two-tone them as well. And yes. the booster kit that I think you'll move down to yes. afterwards as well, the, the idea with that is the fact that once you've established the foundation, because there's no... Um, kit information in there, but the booster will allow you to mix and Add match more materials. In. Yeah, love it. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of the actual kit, including the instructions, that is key with this one. So if you don't know where where you're going with this and you need your tuition, this is the set for you. But as you heard from Rachel, they're quite rightly do add in the booster kit reason being is once you've got those instructions you know what you're doing you're gonna be making a lot more of these and again I mean you can use this in so many different ways absolutely Love it. There you go. Now, if you fancy getting a hold of yours, you've got your three little um, kind of, well, spools, I suppose you call them. You can get all of those. You don't have to choose. Um, and you've got your different gradients of wire. Why do we need different gradients? So the different gradients, you've got a, a thicker wire to give the firmer foundation. And then you've got the finer wire that will <laughs> allow you to do the wire weaving. So it's, it's more malleable to work with. And I think the, there's 0.3 and 0.4 millimetre yeah. in there. So I've used different wire thicknesses for different projects. 0.4 grows a little bit quicker okay. with your weave. 0.3 is a little bit kinder on the hands. So perhaps if you struggle with dexterity with your hands, mm -hmm. you might want to switch to the 0.3. So you've got those so options in there. So can you use the there. same kind of pattern and technique regardless of the wire and get different results so a smaller ring potentially with the, the three gauge or three millimeter yes. and then oh okay it's a bit like knitting then really yes. it's different like your double knit and your full ply i love it it's all coming together I, I always think once you've established the foundations i give guides for the different thickness of wire but once you've established it I'm all, all up for trying to experiment and see what nice you can idea. work with love it but sometimes you don't want to go too thick because it starts being hard to work with and it can look a little bit messy. Okay. 
so okay. the the fine wires give it and it, it covers up a multitude of sins classy look yes <laughs> Love it. there you go now if you fancy getting hold of your booster kit because you may well have invested in some of the kits previously and already have your instructions so the details are there three four four three nine two now these are adorable. You've already found these. We do love a hedgehog, don't we, here at Atramza? And we've got some amazing kits for you. These are so cute. Now, you may well have already noticed these on the lapel of the jacket that Rachel is wearing, but these are so cute. The little hedgehog brooches. Oh, I had such joy in making these. My daughter, Emily, did the design, um, the illustration for it and um, it was just so lovely and then once the illustration is in place it's then a little bit like a piece of artwork where you have yes. to work out all the different combinations of beads and you go through a whole process of that works that doesn't work and and i was i was really pleased and i love their characters they've all got different names oh fabulous so who is this little one that we've got um here? that one is clara lovely and of course clara is one of those um, options that you've got on your screen there so if you're wanting to go down the cool tones they're all on the same item number these ones they are just don't you know making sure with regards to these so um you have got your clara i love that that was my grandmother's name clara what's like it? that very pretty oh, name. um the next one here now this is kind of traditional hedgehog colors he was he's back in stock he he sold out at the last oh. show um, he's called Cyril. Oh, Cyril. <laughs> I love it. Cyril the Hedgehog. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. And then finally, the first one that I showed you, absolutely gorgeous. This one is little honey. Honey. So the, the honey, I think, is a really good one at the moment for those autumnal colours. Definitely. You love um, it. Gorgeous. And of course, you might be tempted to go for all three of these, which is not a problem. They're all on the same item number, so you can do so quite easily. But if you are choosing them, you're looking at Honey, you're looking at Cyril, and you're looking at Clara. Um, details on your screen there, um, 9830082. Do pop them into your basket. And again, you've got everything that you need in there, your tuition, your inspiration. You've even got your beading needle in these. Absolutely everything, apart from a little dab of glue that okay. you'll need for the back. And as well, if people are looking at it and thinking, well, that looks a bit complicated, it really isn't. It's, it's bead embroidery, so you sew onto a, a piece of foundation, um, and it's step-by-step -step instructions. It's all photographed, all written instructions. And I've also done, if we don't get a chance to do much today, I've done a little mini YouTube tutorial Fabulous. with all the highlights so that if there's anything to sort of clarify, hopefully I clarify it in there. Wonderful. But it's a beautiful project that you can sit in front of the telly and you can just bead away, providing you can thread a needle. It is a fine needle, but honestly, you do get there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, if you fancy getting hold of any of these kits, um, they're proven to be very, very popular. Um, so, yes, please do add those into your basket. If you've already made your own little Cyril, because, of course, Cyril uh, did sell out last time he was here, if you um, would like to email in a picture of yours, then do studio at chand.com. Um, and already, is that Cyril? Cyril again is a popular boy, is that Cyril? Already a third of the stock has gone of Cyril, so if that is your colour preference, then please be quick with regards to that one. Now, of course, if you did invest in this last time with regards to Cyril, you might want to make some different changes, different colours. And we've got a nice little booster pack for you. So again, this one isn't going to have the tuition in there, but it's kind of got the components that you need to make more. That's it. Again, this sold out last time, so I'm really happy to be able to bring it back. The idea with this is that you've bought the kit, and you want to do more but you want to explore perhaps some colors you've got your own stash of seed beads so the foundation that you see on camera there is what you sew on to okay. so you've got four more uh, hedgehogs that you can do um, you've got various different colored backings as well the leatherette backings I think you've got brooch backs in there yeah, if I remember indeed, correctly yes. you've got your little brooch and needles. Backs in there. Is the it's almost like they're little mini kits, to be honest, because I suppose you could break these up. Like you say, if you're doing kind of one of those um, video calls between four friends, you could uh, send these out as little packs for everybody and all Absolutely. work alongside. Absolutely, and yeah. they can use their own seed exactly, beads. Exactly, yeah. 
Love it. So you've got your four little bases, as you can see there. Obviously, your four pieces of uh, fabric there for your backing. You've even got, you've actually got a spare needle included within there as well, which is brilliant. And then, of course, you have got your little brooch backs there. £18.95, 480 Do bear in mind, with that one, though, you do need to have had the previous kit to have the tuition. But, of course, you can get them both together at the same time if you wanted to. Flextravagans means that you can actually spread the cost of any of the items of sharing with you over two payments as well. So that's worth thinking about. Now, I must admit, I got very excited when I saw this tool set come in because it's one of the things that we all love to do. It's actually measure our ring fingers. Yes. For, um, well, it could be in an immediate project that you're creating or maybe you've got a birthday coming up or you're planning. But I have never seen so many different rings featuring here. There's I know, there's sizes. some really tiny ones on there as well. <laughs> Itty, itty you can even measure your children's fingers with that as well. There's some little tiny ones there. Um, I, I'm looking for a new thumb ring, but I didn't know the size of my, my thumb. Well, I know the size of my thumb. It's that big. But uh, the actual ring um, size. And you've got loads in here. So the gents' fingers right the way through. Absolutely loads. And now I like this because you've actually got on these little numbers. Yes. And I've noticed this when I've been shopping for rings. Sometimes you get a number, sometimes you get a letter. Yes. Um, and in this occasion, you've got a little gauge there as well. So does it come with the gauge as well to, to show you the, the conversion? That's right. So you, you've got numbers on on each of the metal hoops as well. And so. then you've got the card. So you look at the card for the corresponding size that you've come up with, if that makes sense. So if yes, your number so there you go, number X 15. amount, it'll tell you what size you are, which generally in UK terms, the UK normally works in letters. Okay. Perfect. rather than the numbers that are on there ah. so it's a good conversion chart i love it there you go so uh, you've got obviously just find the number um try it on your finger and uh, yeah read it across just wherever you're shopping really for your ring or it's important if you're making rings as gifts as well sometimes when you have got the flexibility now the other tools that we've got in here as well talk us around now we've got um well i don't know what this is, is this a mandrel it is it's a ring mandrel it's a wooden ring mandrel and I'll be showing you a little bit later on how we use that. So it really is something that's ideal for you to have if you're making rings. Okay. And what we do is we wrap the wire around it to shape it. Oh, I see. So okay. first of all, you use the ring mandrel to sort out your size. Right. Then you put a little pencil mark on your ring mandrel. Okay. So on here you choose your, your ring size and I'm guessing that you would kind of, That's it. for instance, just pick that one up there. So pop that on like so, yeah. So you pop a little mark right underneath. Okay. And it'll give you in the instructions if you need to mark it sort of one millimetre away or so on. Because sometimes the inner diameter makes it a little bit smaller. So well, you yes, have to allow yeah, for that. Put it either side, haven't you? Yes, that would make sense. So you mark that, obviously with pencil, you can then rub it out on off the wood. And then we'd actually shape the wire. So once you've completed the weave in any of the wire work projects, you then wrap it round to your size. And that's where the hammer comes into play. Ah, okay. Is the hammer, it, people sort of say, well, what's the difference between the two colors? It's just, it's just a feature, the black and the yellow oh, on the, the hammer. Heads. There's absolutely no difference between the two sides. So it's nylon tipped, which means that because you're working with a plated wire, you're not gonna make any indentations or chips down to the copper. Good point, yes, yeah. And it acts as a shaping, so you place it on there and you can wrap it round, but ultimately to get a really neat finish, you gently hammer around the finished wire. Okay. And it work hardens as well, so ah. it has a reaction with the metal that actually that makes it more class. solid. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, love it. Now, if you fancy getting hold of this set, I think it's a very affordable set. It's kind of like a one-time purchase, really. Now, I, I don't make a lot of jewellery, but I do kind of like my jewellery. I like to buy gifts for people, so I think having that simply for the, the ring um, guide there, I think is brilliant. Yeah. And we do have the occasion... I do sometimes, I don't know what I do, but my rings, sometimes when I take them off, they're the weirdest shapes <laughs> as the day goes on. I mean, obviously they're, they're made of metal, so they can alter over time. So I'm guessing that if you have got a ring and you're wanting to reshape it yourself, you could do that with a mandrel Absolutely. and the hammer Absolutely. Well. I mean, within reason, yes. if it's a solid ring, then it, it, you probably would need to take it to a specialist. But okay. if it's quite fine yes. 
and also you can just push it further down the mandrel so if you're working with wire work as well yes. and you find that it's a bit small the weave that you've done you can push it down ah. the mandrel to stretch it as well I guess that's a bit like knitting because some people will have a tighter tension than others so yes. yeah makes sense there you go now if you fancy getting a hold of your set 22 pounds and 85 pence let's just say it's one of those things that you only need to purchase it the once because it, they are tools the quality of which are going to be with you for a lifetime so 925 631 if you fancy getting hold of those now of course with any jewelry making um, you tend to look at tools with regards to kind of wires wire cutters things like that and that's what we've got here so we have got a little set here of these two coming together these ones you've got your jaw pliers and your side cutters now Side cutters, this is for cutting your wire, is that right? That's right, so side cutters, uh, basically you have the flat edge of the side cutters. I don't know if... Is it the ones with the green handle, the side cutters? The, the, those are the wire straighteners. Oh, it's this one at the top. So the one at the top is I the a 50, cutter. 50-50 chance, and I knew I'd get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so those are your cutters, those are essential, and they, they're also great for basic um, stringing as well in in bead jewelry making get my words okay, out yeah. so they're great for even cutting things like uh, tiger tail which is a stringing wire for necklaces as well so that's a really good all-round tool love it um, and of course you are getting those a part of the set it's only 14 pounds and 95 pence for both of these so these are in the straighteners they're good solid tools I have they to are the straighteners these. are just amazing if you're doing wire work and you're going to be doing lots of it they're a they're a really must have if i'm honest because they save on wastage ah. so if you've made a mistake with your wire it's gone all crinkly and you think, ah, I've got to bin that. Whereas what you do with the straighteners is within reason. Okay. <laughs> you can, it's almost, it reminds me of hair straighteners. Oh, I see. Where you just, they're, they're nylon tipped. So again, they protect the wire. They don't take away the tarn, uh, the tarnishing on the top, the, the, the plate. And then you run it all the way along and you've got a nice, fairly straight piece. Love it. Fabulous. Now you're getting, whoops, days. they're quite sturdy and they're quite weighty, hence the little guy, um, guy there. One thing I will say as well though, jewellery making um, pliers and DIY pliers are very much different, aren't they? So don't be tempted to go out to your garage really and, and use those tools. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't recommend it and, and quite often with the DIY tools, you've got serrated edges on That's them. That's a good point, yes. And if yeah. you use the serrated edges, you will take the top off the wire and you'll end up with different colours. So it's, it's best not to. <laughs> that's it there you go now if you fancy getting hold of your appliers you have got your duo set there just for 14 pounds and 95 pence very affordable and of course there's something that you just got to have the right tools to get the right results so 116868 next set that we've got here now this one is a full set of four so um, we're kind of adding now are we adding or we've got some of these that are similar um, oh no yes you're adding it to the pliers that we've just looked at so this time we're looking at your round nose your chain nose your bent nose and your side cutters so a good selection again with these to be honest this has got everything in oh, okay. that you need to do wire working so that's a very affordable set if it you're looking is. at all of them i mean at the bottom of the screen obviously we're looking at 14.95 but this set 18 pounds and 95 pence so uh, yeah do you like this and we will see these in action obviously we'll chat about them i think as rachel is working because we've been chatting for quite a long time already haven't we so the details on your screen <laughs> if you want to get hold of your tools we are going to head over to demo though so we can see how you put all these tools to play alongside those gorgeous wire pieces and of course the instructions that you've got so 317858 is your item number um rachel what are you going to demonstrate for us first so first of all we're going to demonstrate the wire wrap rings okay the the adjustable gemstone wire wrap rings so I'm going to do that and hopefully I can talk you through um, afterwards if we get time the other things that you can do once you've mastered the concept of making them okay so I think if I start off just by letting you know what comes in your kit I think it's always nice to know yes so thank you. the kit comes with full written and photographed instructions so you can see step by step in good. there. Do you so want to lay it down on your little bead mat? Oh, yes, front, there we can, go. You can almost look over your shoulder then. There we go. Lovely. So you've got all of your materials that you'll need, and it tells you which tools you require in there as well. Lovely. And you've got 
detailed instructions and it tells you which photographs to look at as you're going along oh, the that's good for reference part yeah. as well and then in the pack you also get <laughs> oh, you've got all your wire and everything So there. you've got all your wires, so you've got the wires for the two separate rings and you'll also have 16 gemstones in there as well of the Wonderful. one in the kit. So when you say 16 gemstones, I'm guessing that they're going to get split between the two rings. That's it. Lovely. The split between the two rings. Now, I won't go through sort of lengths and so on because it's, it's all, all in mentioned in yeah. the instructions. So what I would say, so we cut two lengths to begin with of okay. the thicker wire and it does tell you where to actually start it from now what you could always do I'm out, out of the line there is because so, sometimes it can slide the wire whilst you're actually weaving is you could actually mark the wire with a permanent marker it will rub off and you can actually visually see where you need to weave from and to. Okay. So that's that's not in the instructions, that's just an extra top tip. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of a bonus. A little free extra top <laughs> tip for you there. So I've got my fine weaving wire. Now, it is often best to work straight from the reel. Okay. Because it means that you don't have to keep adding in wire if you run out and ah. don't cut the proper length. So this is what the combination is. So we're going to tuck that underneath. Give yourself a good tail to work with. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're right-handed, obviously clamp with your left, work with your right, and vice versa. Okay. So we're going to do one full wrap around one base wire, and then we're going to do another full wrap around the second one. So you're going over the top and in the middle. Okay, yeah. And then you're going to do a full wrap round both and come underneath the bottom one. Okay. Now, it can be quite difficult to sort of get a grip on your wires to begin with. So I find that my nylon jaw pliers, I tend to clamp them as ah, I'm starting. It just okay. helps. Now, you can separate the wires but you don't want a gap while you're weaving you want to keep them totally together okay so we're doing one round one round the top one round both try and keep a nice tension on there as well and this is quite methodical so once you kind of get into the swing of it i, I bet you almost oh, do you your can eyes be closed. well away oh my goodness that's coming together really quickly it is oh Look at that now. Obviously, as um, Rachel is working here, you may well have spied the ring that she's wearing. Well, that is one of the rings that you are going to be able to create with one of the options of the uh, the kit that we've got on the screen. You've got five different options, so I do urge you to jump onto the website and have a little look. You've got things like soda light in there, you've got your smoky quartz, you've also got amethyst alongside your rose quartz, you've also got um, your turquoise, fabulous one that's called um, Hemolite as well so uh, do check those out um, beautiful designs in there and uh, all using this fabulous technique that you're sharing with us Rachel and the thing with this technique is I always like when I'm doing a kit to actually think a little bit outside the box okay with okay so you've got that technique what else can you make with it mm -hmm. so I've actually made some demo pieces that we can have a look at a, a little bit later okay, on fabulous. and I've actually used this particular method to actually make a sun catcher oh okay and is that like the sun catcher that I've got over here on the it counter? is so I've Beautiful. used the same length of wire but instead I've just used a different technique at the end I've used a kebab stick okay. to actually wrap it round so it's using the same technique and I've done the earrings as well so that you can do earrings to match. Yes. So with the earrings, you use exactly the same technique. So you finish it off in the same way, but you stop before you pop it round the ring mandrel. Okay. And then you pop it on a kebab stick and you give it a twirl. I love it. <laughs> give it a little twirl and pop them on there at the same time so that you can mirror the shape so that you don't have one a bit wonky donkey and one <laughs> <laughs> a 
I love that wonky donkey. Wonky oh, donkey. That was, a, that was a thing once, wasn't it? Um, I love this. This is so easy. You can see that. I mean, just simply wiring this through. And it, like you say, those pliers, very useful to have to keep a grip, um, so to speak, with regards to To get this. a grip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've also done, um, I do like my candles. And I've okay. also done a candle as well. Now the now candle is sitting on the counter in front of you. Yes. Love it. It's just to kind of to, to your um, to your right, isn't it? Yeah, there and we're gorgeous. Go. And this is one of those candles oh. that um, it's not an actual wax candle, is it? It's a battery operated. This is a one. battery operated one. Do you want to pop it just down on the front there? Because that gorgeous, gorgeous detail there with the turquoise coming through that, as you can see. I love the way that the wire wraps around those turquoise beads there as well. And this is, like you say, using your own inspiration. Just use your imagination. And that is exactly the same technique. I've padded it out a little bit because it does make for a lot of wire weaving. Okay. I've padded it out at the back with some beads that I've just wrapped the wire over. Okay. And I've joined it at the front, but the whole concept of it is is exactly what we're doing here. Do you want to just rotate it around so we've of got course. the back of that candle and we can see it at the front? Ah, oh, clever. So I've just popped it on there and if you can see those wire wraps there, yes. I've just literally gone over the bead and wrapped one single wrap in between and each bead. And it doing all the wire work that would normally be needed to do that kind of, I don't know, an inch and a half. Width. This is yeah. it. You know, it's a bit like, oh, well, you know, this is taking a bit of time. Let's add a bit of extra beads in there just to make it nice and decorative. And also it saves on your wire as well. So and this is it. And again, just using the technique that you're showing with it, you're picking up quite a pace here now. I know. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Love it. Um, can I quickly show the different stars of the, of the, the rings that we've got Absolutely. as you continue to work? And we'll come back to you in just a few yeah. moments. Because of course we've got lots of different choices with these. So let me show you the choices and we'll go back um, over to Rachel afterwards. So in each of these you're going to be able to make a silver tone ring and a rose gold tone thing, um, ring thing. Not thing, ring. <laughs> you know the words I'm trying to use. And these are beautiful because you, obviously you're doing the technique that we're learning from Rachel at the moment. But you are making a kind of an expandable ring as well because there's a little bit to give within there so they're very forgiving if you are especially making these to give as gifts to people now look at the soda light at the moment which is that gorgeous blue tone and almost with the soda light you'll notice that some of them have almost got like little flecks of white running through these as well so very much a case that each of those little um, gemstones there have got their own personality so that one is your soda light next one that we've got is um, again with the silver and rose gold you've got your smoky quartz and of course, there's nothing stopping you going for multiples of these sets and interchanging them. Very much autumnal tones with this one, I think you'll agree. So if you like to wear a lot of, lot of kind of chocolate browns or torques or mustard tones as well, still very popular, those would work really well. So those ones are your smoky quartz. Next one that we've got, you've got a combination of two different beads within this one. So uh, again, use them together if you want to. If you're looking at these and you're thinking, well, actually, I like the idea of having one completely with rose quartz, then you can do. Or you can interchange them, as you can see there lovely little variety with regards to those and of course again you've got your rose gold and your silver tone with that one and that one is your amethyst alongside your rose at quartz in the same kit together next one that we've got this i think this one is my favorite I do like my silver jewellery and I love the drama that you've got of this one with that gorgeous kind of tone on there. It's almost like they've got um, a um, kind of, uh, 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 it's almost like the equivalent of a, a pearl sheen to these, I think. It's I love hematite. It's just, and it's hematite, a good all-round wear as well. I think it, it will go with everything. Yes, that's a really good one. Yeah, if, you, if you're a fond, um, fond of your black tones, your dark tones, your greys, I think that's going to work really, really well. Again, with the rose gold and also the silver as well. The final one that you've got is that beautiful turquoise. And the turquoise, again, this is going to be one that's going to look lovely if you are wanting to wear it. Perhaps with your denim, again, another springtime colour, maybe. Nothing stopping you. Again, if you wanting to mix this one up so I'm going to bring back in the hematite because I think the hematite alongside the turquoise looks nice as well so again if you fancy going for a couple of sets and interchanging those like we saw with the amethyst alongside the rose quartz then you can do you're kind of making up your own combinations then aren't you 12 pounds and 99 pence whichever of those you choose to go for it's a wise investment um, but you've got the details up on your screen there 054239 if you're wanting to get hold of those we've got a little bit of an update as well uh, obviously we're going to go and have another little look at the demo 
demonstration in a moment, but the tools that um, Rachel's been working with, those fabulous tie, um, wire, um, not wires, jaw pliers and your side cutters, they have actually now sold out. We have tried to get hold of more stock of those, but sadly we're not able to at the moment as well. But don't forget, we have got the set of four. So if you do want to go for the set of four, £18.95, and pence, we have got these ones available um, still. So if you do want them, at 317-8585. Um,